Okay. Sorry. Stop. How do you say it? Sorry. Sorry. My voice is fucked, huh? Um, I already feel like I've had a full day. A lot of uh, hackamania stuff today. Look, it's just my life now. Hackamania, hackamania, hackamania. I gotta say this right off the top: people are buying tickets and they're not using a promo code at all. You're you're paying way too much money for tickets. We're about a hundred dollar event. Tickets are 129. Use promo code NLO. Save 20% off tickets. All your other favorites have their own promo codes, but Jesus, help me win. <laughs> Use promo code NLO when you buy tickets. Uh, people are buying tickets and not, not using a promo code at all. It's wild. It's wild. Um, I, I've just been running around doing uh, uh, Hackamania stuff. Planning, coming together. Holy shit. I'm excited. As we, uh, you know, now that as uh, the new space is solidified, I think this announcement will make Monday. I think we'll make the announcement about the new venue Monday on my show, 6 a.m. Be there, be square. Um, we'll make the new venue public. Uh, several of the creators already know the new venue. Not Ray, of course. We're trying to keep it. Um, it's it's gonna be so fucking cool. It's gonna be so fucking cool. I don't even want to say, you know, cotton candy machine, maybe bobbing for apples. You know, what we should have. And I haven't had a chance to email Tiff back. She's so anxious to be like the house mother of Hackamania. But yeah, Tiff, you can have a whole table. Look, I don't want to micromanage it. Stop asking me what we, I'm going to, you can have a table and you can set up all your fucking wares. Okay. <laughs> bring your apples, bring your crackers, bring your peanut butter, bring your crack cracker jacks. Bring, what, what were you bringing? cheese bring it all wine will be available you know this would be a great little thing to set up for the vip mixer we could do a apple taste test we could have an apple taste testing situation um things i'm working on now I, look man it's gonna be fucking awesome i'm so stoked i can't even explain to you and when you see the venue, and there's not a lot out about the venue because it's it's top secret. It's top secret. But when you find out where it is and you'll nose around a little bit and see what's out there about it, oh my God. It's so cool. It's so cool. Anyway, um, I think we've uh, solidified what our uh, open mic contest is going to be. I hope we'll have uh, entries open for that. We have a lot of people asking about the open mic contest. It's going to be half and half ticket holders and locals. So if you're local, you'll be able to sign up for the open mic contest for a nominal fee. We got to charge you like five bucks or something. This will be so you can register online. <coughs> Otherwise, we make it a Google Doc and everybody's just signing up. Um, you know, fill up McCrevice. We don't have time for that. So, you know, we got to charge a dollar or five dollars or something, whatever it takes, just to get you to register. And then I think if you're a ticket holder, if you're coming in from out of town and you have a, you already have a ticket, you could sign up for free. Or I don't know, maybe it'll have to be a dollar on the website as well. Um, either way, it'll be like a buck to sign up, but that's just so we can like make sure you're a person. And you're gonna get two minutes. This is decided. Two minutes. We're gonna have twenty people do two minutes. I think. That's twice as long as you get on Kill Tony. 
We are going to have deputies in the audience who are responsible for certain tasks during the open mic, and we'll have certain authority over the open micers. You'll find out what that means at the show. And the name of the open mic is going to be Win Earl Skakel's Money. We're going to call the open mic Win Earl Skakel's Money. Earl Skakel and a panel of judges, along with your super tip comments about each and every competitor from streamers at home, will judge the competitors, and Earl Skakel will have a stack of money in front of him which he can distribute at will to the contestants he finds the funniest. Win Earl Skakel's money. So, you know, he's a tough cookie. If he doesn't like you, you're not going to get shit. But it's ultimately going to be up to Earl. He's going to be like the king. He's, he's going he's gonna to decide who gets what. He's got the most experience on the panel. And, um, yeah, so that's going to be a wild one. That's going to be our late Friday night show. And it's going to kind of be anything goes. And then after that, we're going to do karaoke. Or as we're calling it, hacky -okey. Hello. But we'll have other people on the panel, too. And again, if you can't make it out, you know, I understand a lot of people can't make it out. It's not just about the $100 ticket, flights, hotels, accommodation, leaving work, pets. I get it. You'll be able to stream this. Details, again, about that will be announced in May. But, okay, so I I'm just... Uh, I know a lot of people are reticent uh, to buy tickets. I was talking to somebody earlier, and they were like, you know, people are just, you know, they don't know because you haven't announced the new venue. And it's like, I don't. The new venue bangs. It bangs. Trust me on this. Jesus Christ. There is no giant penis to ride, and there is no bowling alley. I'm sorry. We are giving up that. Don't get me wrong. I, I was excited. There were like arcade games and, but you know, it's a cool like place to hang when you're not watching the show, but now it'll just be our own like classy space. <laughs> as classy as us idiots can make it. Cause I'm sure it'll be adorned with, uh, you know, nanopus art and other nonsense. And I was telling Carl today, um, we should all start doing this. Earl, Pat Dixon. Um, Ray, if he's with us today, all the creators, you should bring out your art, bring out your sculptures, your paintings, your drawings, whatever you have. We're going to set it up like some sort of fucking, you know, dabble versus flea market. And, you know, it'll just be a cool way to decorate the space. And a lot of it's like really good. A lot of it's like, you know, decent stuff. So I don't know. Um, you should bring it out. If you need a place to ship it ahead of time, get in touch with me. Or, of course, you can send it to the P.O. Box. But, you know. Arizona Mesa Tom says I was coming to Vegas for the bowling alley. Oh. 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 Devil's Joint new member. Thank you very much. Limp Lenny Marcus, 13-month member. Wow, what a, what a succubus. Uh, can I set up a table to sell narcotics? I don't think we're going to have a table for it, but, you know, there'll be places to make yourself known. I'm not kidding. We may even be working on a VIP, a separate VIP lounge area. This this place has a lot of spaces, and it's all going to be ours. So w one of the main reasons I moved it here is because the only downside to moving it here is that it's not quickly walkable and 10 minute walkable. But other than that, everything about it, we, we got a green room space. We may have a VIP lounge, which wasn't even promised, but those 50 people may have their own lounge. Maybe we can get you your own bartender. Maybe we'll have complimentary cocktails. We won't. We won't. Please bring money. Please bring money. I was also talking to Rocco. You know, this is a rock club. They don't. The one thing I am gonna have to uh, bring my own of is chairs. So I've been asking my neighbors how many they have. You know, 
No, the space doesn't have chairs, so I'm renting chairs and uh, some tables. Because we also need chairs for the stage and stuff. And then Rocco is like, yeah, just, we'll just get the cheap folding chair. I'm like, I want people to like, first of all, Bentley will break every folding chair I rent. No offense. So will I. But I've seen a lot of our listeners, and they're shaped like golf balls on tees. And uh, present company included. And, and you know, I want people to be, like stick around and watch a podcast. So we're going to be getting nice. No one needs a chair. We're all just going to stand with our lighters and watch WATP. Because <laughs> that's the problem. It's, a, it's like a rock club. It's like a, you know. No chairs. Is this a roller rink? No, it's like a standing. It's a concert venue. It's like a standing only. You know, you'll see, you'll see. Anyway, the point is, um, we got to bring in chairs. So, of course, I'm, you know, getting the nice chairs. Don't worry. And then Rocco is like, just get the nice chairs for the VIPs and fuck the, you know. <laughs> we'll just get, we'll just get um, venue docs. What? What's the venue? An abandoned church. An abandoned church. That'd be aw- that actually be dope, <laughs> but it's nothing that cool. Bring your own chairs. Tuki said that too. And then he said we should just sell chairs on the website. Like, don't forget to buy your chair. Five dollars. Don't forget to buy your chair. Uh, beloved chatter said, this is fun as the chair decisions for my wedding. I mean, it's just, I, you don't understand what it takes to put on one of these things. This is why it's so funny that Chad can't podcast two hours a week. I got a lot of other stuff to do. It's like, oh, do you, do you, I'm spending hours on chairs, chairs. Do you want to get into lighting and HDMI cables and cameras and cable runs and tape and microphones and tables and mic stands and banners and backdrops and signage and tickets and drink tickets and staffing and volunteers and do you want to get into it and i can still do a show every day so i'm sorry if it's like you know wavering on time but I'm still doing it every day i love chad can't get it together he's like i got bank appointments <laughs> so anyway you got a lot of chair choices when it comes to renting chairs and you can go cheap you can get a chair for a dollar fifty two dollars a day a folding chair a garbage chair i'm getting nice banquet chairs i'm getting nice padded steel chairs so all the fats can be comfortable at hackamania hackamania is a fat friendly event Mark my words on this. Every door, a double door. Doxed. You'll be able to fit. You'll be able to fit. Big bathrooms. All that kind of stuff. Now, Crumb says, fuck sitting, I stand. Great point. Great point. I'm not an idiot. Maybe the first official uh, festival event I've planned. But I'm not dumb. We have 200 tickets sold. You think I put 200 chairs in there? No. What am I, an idiot? Do do I want it to look empty? No, no. We put 100 chairs in there. We put 120 chairs in there. The rest is standing room. Feel free to come in, meander, watch, leave. That's what people want anyway. This is a hang. This is a social event as much as it is a watch a podcast that you like event. You're coming to meet Tukey. You're not coming to watch an episode of Tukey Soup. You're coming to say hey to Melton and make fun of Chad in person. You're not coming to see NLO. NLO sucks. You know what rules? The chat. The chat. So this will be like the chat, but in a building. So, yeah, I'm not dumb. Obviously, we'll have way less chairs than tickets sold. Because, A, not everybody wants to watch every show, and, B, not everybody wants to sit down and commit. 
and then tell everybody to get up and move. Whew. Besides, again, now that we have this bar lounge all to ourselves, you know, before we were going to have to go out and be a common part of the bar, and there could have been non-event attendees out at that bar, and we would have to share that space with those dirty, unwashed masses. We could have had trolls out there, maniacs, people with knives. Now, everybody out at the bar, everybody out at the lounge, chill, chill. They're a ticket holder. You're never going to have to wait long lines at the bars for a bunch of drunk idiots who stumbled in off the strip. It's just us. Drink until you die. And by the way, there's food nearby. You're going to have great food nearby, but I'm working on food trucks. I was telling people, I'm working on some food trucks that I'm going to have cycle through. Like every two hours, we'll have a different food truck come through. So, you know, there'll be options, man. I'm thinking about everything. I'm not dumb. You know, we joke about it a lot, being canceled, panicking, no ticket selling. They're selling and people not even using coupon codes. And um, it's going to be really fun. If you're on the fence about it, I mean, ax around, ax somebody. It's going to be great. And you're going to be sad you missed out. And, the, and again, this is one of the safest events to risk coming to. Number one, again, everyone wants to see Melton fail. Everyone wants to see Melton fail. I've had three people tell me in the past 24 hours that in Spurgtopia, they're all about to vandalize my house. They're all openly talking about vandalizing my house. And it's like, okay, okay I don't, fuck, that would suck. Is that what you want to hear? Is that what you need? That would fucking suck, dude. Please don't. But also, if you're already there talking about that, I can't. I can't, or I guess do if it makes you f if it's gonna make everything better. You know, I don't. Please don't. I don't like that. Don't do that. So you know, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Um. By the way, Panhandler, I've had a discussion with two people about you in the past 24 hours. What's going on with you, buddy? Are you all right? Do we need to kiss or something? Panhandler's like a fan of the show, and then we, like, met up, had a little breakfast, and ever since he's gotten back, he just keeps shitting in the ch on the chat in the chat room. You fail every day. You suck every day. You're dumb every day. He's he's tried the same joke about seven times. Or you should look for a venue in Reno. You should look for a venue in Denver. You should look for a venue. He just keeps naming different cities. Just trying the same joke over and over. It's like, yeah, we get the joke. We get the joke. What do you need? Attention? Is this what you need? Did I upset you when we met? What's going on? Are you okay? If you've turned, it's fine. I just, I'm confused. Everything was fine. But now you can't shut the fuck up. Everything's a, everything's a like, fuck you, man. You suck. Everything. Not a here and there. It's all fuck you. Are we, is everything okay? Go get that girl you brought. Tell her to suck your dick. Is everything okay? It's his thing. I, I, I don't, it's a little too dry, dog. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't know. Like, someone's telling me like, like, yeah, he gets like really mad when you're like late or anything. It's like. I mean, turn it off then. Turn it, you've got to turn it off and walk away. I'm doing a lot. I'm juggling a lot. I'm here every day. Doom says, fix your HDMI and everything. I know, I know. 
Today's clusterfuck is brought to us by, oh, Dill Dog. And that's really cute. Dill Dog. Dill Dog. Anyway, chill. We all heard the joke the first time. Chill. No one's moving that. No one's. We got it. We got it. Melton didn't hold the door open for I mean, something. It's something. It's weird. I love you. I love you. Are you okay? Ugh, it's gonna be, I mean, way to make it weird. I guess everybody does it so I do this, but like, you know. Okay, I'm doing it. You got it. Got him. I did my own sound effect because I had it potted down. I mean, figure it out. Figure it out. That's all I needed. I mean, fuck. Let's all get together and kill our... Okay, sorry. Open up, April. This Marconi Award is going straight into your eggy rot pocket. Mm, please, Ashley, sit on my face so I can taste that hairy bookworm snatch. Larry! Get the fuck out of here. Devil's Join, thank you. Limp Lenny Marcus, can I set up a table to sell narcotics? No, no, no. Sheila Aliens, meow. That makes a lot of sense when you think about it. George, uh, will there be an apple taste testing table? I'm hoping. I'm really hoping. <laughs> I'm really hoping. Oh, no. Doom has switched from the turn to the cable. I'm going to make sure every cable... For the live stream, sucks. We might do it in sepia. <laughs> we might do the whole thing in grainy, grainy sepia. Um, single mother of five. Wow. Can't wait to tell KB that uh, now it's bring your own chair. <laughs> yes. I mean, how fun is it? It's the event that's breaking everyone. It's the event that's breaking everyone. I mean, it's just going to be great. I If we can get, if we can figure out a way to get. Oh, I guess Stevie Lou was talking shit about me yesterday. I was going to say we should get Stevie Lou out for the dunk tank. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I guess I've betrayed. Again, I guess. It's just so funny to watch all these guys go through the iteration of thinking like, no, nah, I'm different. I have a different relationship with KB. This is going to be, he gets me. I'm one of the, ra I make him rational. I get, it. I watched it with Pat Dixon, you know, I didn't want to be right. I just knew I was, I watched Pat Dixon think <sighs> I'm like Adam. I'll be around for a while. I'm not like these guys with these hardcore opinions. And then, by the way, you know, he let it slip out, I guess, KB. He said, um, he goes, you know, Pat Dixon chose Melton over this show and stuff. And it's like, hold on. I thought you weren't having Pat on because you could lose your channel. So now he's admitting that it's. Just because he doesn't like me. I mean, it's just weird. I don't get it. And by the way, all these guys will be better off in the long run not being under somebody's thumb like that. It's insane. And who's the new star now? Felicia and, of course, Chad. It's always Chad's an all, a good old air mattress to pull out of the closet and blow up from time to time. He's evergreen for lols. Uh, Ace uh, says, KB says you have a hunchback. Fuck. I mean, you know, it's it's probably pronounced. And um, we're, we're actually at Hackamania. We've had an event pin, pin the tail on the hunchback. And only the VIP holders will get to participate in it. There'll be a point during the VIP cocktail reception where we drop all the blinds, we turn down all the lights, everybody puts on one of those eyes wide shut masks, I get blindfolded and everybody chases me around like a greased pig trying to boop, 
pin a tail right on that hump. Now, you got to be careful. You know, there's a strategy to it. If you pin it directly, if you pin it too fast and too deep, all the pus will spray back on you. But whoever dares brave it and whoever can tolerate the smell, boy, is there a prize in store. I can show you the world. Uh, Karmic, I've got a real question. Been digging the show, thanks. I got a real weird question, Karmic. Is that, is that, um, Avatar from an iPhone game? I used to play this iPhone game back in the day that was like, I don't know what it was called, airport, air traffic. Anyway, it was for, it's really, it's for real autists. You basically like have to act as air, air traffic control for an airport and like planes come in and you have to like land them. But I swear to God, like this lady was on the loading screen. <laughs> it's such a weird question. I know. But I never forget a cartoon lady that I that I jerked to. And she's the one. She's the one. Uh, Karmic. No, it's my original comic book character. Oh, well, they stole it. They stole it. Secret Snake says, yeah, where you have to land planes. I know that game. Yep. All the autistic guys know it. It was it's one of those great games for like when you're flying on a plane and not because it has anything to do with planes just because it's like repetitive and keeps you busy and, you, and you'll pass a lot of time. Like I, I have Tetris on my phone to this day for that reason. You play Tetris on a four hour flight. You're like, listen to whatever music you like and play Tetris. It, do, it does make time fucking fly. So I like those kinds of games better than like, um, and I don't like Bejeweled and that kind of shit. But I like Tetris. But that one was great because you just like land planes. <laughs> and then it gets crazy because like, you know, the, the big planes can only land on like really long runways. And the short planes have to land on short runways. And then they start coming at you hard and fast. And it gets really nuts. <laughs> oh, God, I'm gay. Don't say, we'll edit that out. We'll edit that out. Thanks, Karmic. Uh, anyway, cool character. They stole it, I think. They stole it. They stole it. 7 up 7 member for 11 months. Hi, Felicia. Thanks for watching. Hit and like and join the overdose. Oh, Felicia watches? She's so bad. But I love it. You know, they're all like, you know, when Kevin thinks they're when Kevin's like shining on them, they all like, cause they've never had, they've never done anything in their life. So this feels like something. It feels like something So like a lot of these guys, like going on MLC and getting a thousand people to watch you. It's like, fuck, fuck dude. It's like, I mean, this is the biggest thing they've ever done. And then when Kevin's being nice to you while shitting on everyone else, you look around and go, I must be cool. I must be special. And you watch it over and over and over again. It's so fun. It really is like one of the most appealing things. And slowly the chat starts turning on the person. And then Kevin does too. You know, it's always innocent at first. Like, wow, wow. Uh, um, DK, DK doesn't, doesn't like you. Wow. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I, I stand with DK. And then before you know it, it's just like, yeah, but Felicia, you're fucking, you're, you're dumb. You're stupid. You're fucking stupid. What have you ever, you know? <laughs> so like, Godspeed. Again, uh, uh, fuck you to anybody who can't recognize patterns. It's kind of like on you. It really is on you. And I and I feel bad for everybody it gets, but for like idiots, it's so funny. It's so funny. And the people who keep coming back to it. How many times is this for Stevie Lou now? 
And I told you all, Stevie Lou wouldn't be able to keep his mouth shut and not think he's part of the show. Like, like he, he's no Adam. So we'll see. But, like, how many times has Stevie Lou been kicked off the show and he said Stevie Lou's a piece of shit, worthless, da 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 Like, it's just like these people come back for more and more and more and more. KB only has people that are less than him in his eyes. Yeah, anybody equal or, or greater than, he gets infuriated with an attack. Again, it's got to be eating him up that Neil just put out a decent special. Say whatever you want. Objectively, that Neil Brennan special is not bad, man. It's not bad. Especially right after that mid uh, Dave, Dave Attell special. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, why does anybody care about him liking him? He's nothing in the biz and friendless. Yeah, well, this is my point. It, but it's only like... If you notice, it's only like 40 year old women and like really aging comics who have been around a while, like Ray and Liam. Like Liam was on like Premium Blend. You know, this I was in high school when Premium Blend was on. So like these guys are still impressed by Star Search. You know, Kevin drops it all the time. Like, what are your TV credits? It's like nobody has TVs, old man. You know, like Quibi. We're all on Quibi now. <laughs> but like, so look, don't get me wrong. If you were on Letterman, that's badass. But if you were on Letterman in the 90s and stuff, it's even more badass. And that's about it, man, for the past 20 years. So, and I say this again, I'll be doing stand-up at Hackamania. I'll be on stage. I'll be hosting I'll be doing stand-up. I'll be on stage. I'll be live in front of an audience. I'll be on stage. I don't think Kevin can do it anymore. And I'm not just saying a guest set or whatever. Like, I really don't think he could do it anymore. So, again, everyone who puts out something current, you know, Ray put out an album this year. I put out an album last year. Chad even put out an album in 2022. Are they all regurgitated the same jokes? Yes, yes. But don't listen to two albums. Just download one. And now Neil Brennan has a special from 2024. Well, that's what's Kevin Brennan's last thing again? His pilot? The Roast. The Roast. And let's not forget The Roast was six, seven years ago. So even the pathetic roast that Chad threw, you know, that pathetic production. And yes, I said that pathetic production. Come to Hackamania. I'll show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> that was seven years ago. That sad thing. He had already stooped to that seven years ago. So where's Kevin Brennan again? And again, I'm not saying Kevin couldn't come back. And I'm not saying Kevin couldn't sell out a theater if he really, really tried and put something together. My point is that he won't. My point is that he's a pussy. My point is that he won't. He can't. He's paralyzed. It's, it's everything, everything everyone ever says. Like, I stay in my basement. I don't ever leave the house, yada, yada, yada. No, but that's really him. Again, he has to stay at a different hotel and sneak into his own Atlantic City event. I don't ever leave the house. Okay. Okay. I guess it's true. I don't know. Um, Quinn DQ. Breaking news. Knight Melinda's wife realized she can't become pregnant because Knight's Lego attached cock doesn't produce real sperm. More to come. No, but she still has her uterus, and he, or sorry, he still has his uterus, Oof. and she, she still has her cock, so they just 
reversed it. Knight is pregnant. He's pregnant with her sperm. I'm so glad we live in this world. <laughs> Stevie Lou, my wife, left me too. We don't say mean things about Stevie or his dumb coat. Stevie will block them. Catch me cooking on steel toe. The RV thing didn't work out. Catch me cucking on steel toe. The RV thing didn't work out. Yeah, I can't wait for Corey Adam to be back. We'll get to really see the Corey Adam wit shine. I, these guys are so fucking bad, dog. These guys are so bad. Uh, somebody pointed out we, we can't be done with yesterday yet. <laughs> We've got to watch. This bit from yesterday. Hey, hit the like button if you're watching uh, 648 of ya. Hit the like, won't ya? You sad sexist, sad shit. Oh, boy. Hey, I'm a power napping guy. Oh. What a way to kick us off. I'm a power napping guy. Oh, yeah, thank you to all the uh, high rollers for April. Not on this list. Mason in Portland and uh, Chip Galloway also should be included on this uh, fantastic, fantastic uh, uh, tribute of our stars. I can get myself a power nap in. Okay. Next up, do we like cheese? Hold on, why, why is Anthony Torito so anti-KB? Weren't you like one of his guys? You were like going to be one of the original security crew. It was going to be like me, you, and Bentley were going to be like Kevin's like offensive line at the original AC. Maybe not Bentley. Somebody else. Weren't you like a, like a hardcore KB guy? He's just hemorrhaging fans. This is bad. This is bad. I like to just shed him lightly. Like Will Smith's wife's hair. Um, Torito says, Reels smokes fake cigars. Reels smokes fake cigars. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I don't know what any of that has to do with anything. Either way, I'm glad. With Shuli Network, Torito. I too despise KB. I'm just trying to get an answer here from Torito. Anthony Torito was like, Patrick, it's not bad. It's just not as good as it used to be. Oh, yeah, it's not down. It's just. But look, I don't make any money, and Hackabee is not selling tickets, and um, yeah, that's just that. That's just that. He's like, he puts his super chats up as soon as they come in. It's like that's kind of the point. I try to like get caught up, do a segment, get caught up, do a segment. It's like Kevin, you talk for thirty minutes before you do the first one. Sometimes anybody can. Let them build up. Anybody can let them build up. But I think it's disrespectful to make drive-by wait when he sends in $50. If it's possible, could this 50 please get Buzzard Bob's name added to the honor list for this great phone call contributions? Thank you. Yeah, we'll add Buzzard Bob. Buzzard Bob. Along with Mason... And uh, Cock Galloway. That's not what I call him. I don't even know what that is, but it will get some questions asked. Can guarantee you that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no. Wow, thank you very much. You know, $50 goes a long way, especially when you have to give five of that to Moody and his stupid super tip system that barely works. It barely works. All right, what is Torito saying? He's ignoring me. 
Yeah, then he promised me money, flakes the last minute, and went ham on Bob. KB is the devil. Woo. Should we get Bob out to uh, Hackamania just to upset Shuli? Just to stick it to Shuli? We'll get Bob out. But only Gina can come on stage. Bob has to sit in the audience. We want Gina. We want Gina. We haven't heard from Bob, Buzzard Bob in a few days, so I hope he's okay. We wish him well. Gina Bobina. Oh, good. Ozone's here. We couldn't live without it. Uh, out of Tune says, serious advice. If you are feeling you are burning out with these solo shows, I suggest to do less shows as in doing less hours. Remember, sometimes less is more. Look, I do have ideas. I really do. Um, if April decides she wants to do something else. All of a sudden, when one of them's quitting, he's going to do all this new stuff. New banner, new camera angles, new template. New co-hosts, new hours, new show days. Hmm. Else? Uh, if April decides that, you know, look, the internet's fucking gay. I hate it. Um. Oh, God. You got to go see Citizen M's video he put out today. By the way, I'm such an asshole. I, I, I literally, Citizen M put out a video today that's so good. We might, we might watch the whole thing later. 25 minutes. 25 minutes. It's it's everything. I don't know how you, you A-log somebody like Steel Toe, really, to the point where you're, like, able to pull content from certain... He must have hard drives full of... Annotated. I mean, how are you finding these? So I literally went to like send him money. I went to give him a tip because he's done some video editing for me in the past. So I knew I had his like PayPal or Venmo or whatever. So I scrolling back in our conversation, and then I realized that I owed him a hundred bucks because how we I it just got I I don't know it slipped. So I felt like an asshole. So I sent him. Uh, the hundred bucks and extra today, but you know, somebody was complaining about my lost interest having a membership. It's like, join that. I mean, I don't know the guy. First of all, the guy like burns the midnight oil, clipping stuff. I, I'll get done. I'll get done doing a show, and I see he dropped a clip like twenty minutes later. And then I get mad, like, oh, he's not watching my show. He's editing. What a piece of shit. <laughs> and then I uh, never talked to him again. No. Um, <laughs> but, like, you know, you can th you can throw a little hissy fit, like Sam V, and be like, you got to pay us. <clears throat> you know, because you sound like Mooby when you do that. You, you don't beg for money and then do stuff. You do stuff and then money comes. I literally was going to, like, tip him for this video. I was like, this was, A, a lot of work, and B, just great. So I think that's a good model. These guys should set up a membership, you know, program. Because what, you know... Especially if you make it reasonable, dollar ninety nine, two ninety nine. I don't know. I guess you could do four ninety nine. I think that's what a lot of people like Ray charge for their content. So, but like so many people are in the clips. I think if you charged a dollar ninety nine, you may even be able to get to the point, dude, where you release like one free one a week, and the rest are all subscription, and people will be so into your quick, concise clips that they. You'd have thousands of 199 subscriptions. Because you're like, oh, well, I get like, you know, 15 videos a month. 20 videos a month, something. I don't know. So anyway, um, 
Yeah. Blind Mike does four ninety nine. Is he blind? Is he actually blind or no? Because I notice him a lot of times on uh, Carl's show. Like when Carl's playing clips, he'll look. He'll look around his mic. And a blind person wouldn't do that, unless they're just fucking with people. Is he actually blind? Just do it on faith and you'll get paid, duh. I mean, or you won't, but you'll find out. The thing is, like, you either believe in yourself or you don't. It's like, you know what you don't do? You don't do the April where you go, like, everyone's saying I might be on drugs. And this could affect my future career options. It's like, I thought you were one of the greatest radio broadcasters of all time. Why are you worried about your future career options? Are you, are you up for a dental hygienist position we're not aware of? But the writing's on the wall, and she knows if she doesn't get out now, it's over for her. But, you know, it's already over. It's already out. We already think this is because of drugs. No one has seen this bitch in over a week and a half. No one's seen her. And the last time we did, her whole face was covered in sores. Leaky. Gross. Blind Mike's legally blind. I think he sees shadows and shapes. I don't know, man. I I uh I I started this podcast in 2005. We started the monetization of it in 2006 at $10 a month. We'd never raised the price. That's not true we have. But we lowered it back. And I remember back in the day in 2006, I think we had 25, 30 people paying. And by 2009, we had so many people paying that I was able to quit my very, very good paying job in Florida um, doing IT work and never, ever, ever, ever had to get a job again. But at some point, you have to walk into your boss's office and say, I quit. I'm going to try. I'm going to do this. These people, like, you know, and by the way, I'd, until then, I did it at night on my own time. You either want it or you don't. You can't just, like, lay around and think other people are going to come up to you and be like, oh, you want it, right? And they're going to, like, do all the work. Right, sword and scale? Mama, why, mama, why? <laughs> hey. Um, hey, you just poke right up there, young lady, and rub some butter on it. Ugh. But why, Mama? Mama! Um, that radio man didn't want no scrimp. Just rub some butter on your man. Put some eggy butter on there and gravy, too. Don't forget the boom boom sauce, you lily white forest happy, Ikea loving woods lady. Boom boom sauce. Anyway, the point is, uh, you know, I don't know what the point is. I do a lot of weed, but the point is, uh, fuck doom and, uh, we're all coming for your turn. We're coming for your turn. We're coming for your turn. Jesus Christ. Um, Snoo Kerman, uh, Citizen M is greater than my lost interest. They're di it's just different. It's different. It's like it's sitting there going like. Um, Crowder is better than Melton. <laughs> By the way, I couldn't believe it. Dan Crowder. What's his name? Steven Crowder. Mason in Portland uh, says, happy to be here. Catal Catalano Army will see you at Hackamania. Oh, boy. These clowns. Um, He was, like, live earlier. He came up on my YouTube. You know, all I do is watch 
I, I again, I haven't watched Steven Crowder forever, forever, but he had three point four thousand people watching him. Three point four thousand people watching him. He used to have like two hundred thousand watching him live in like two thousand twenty one. What's it like for that kind of fall off? What is that like? 3,400. He has fucked himself. Mario movie star finger. Just fuck you, Mario. Mario, you're banned from Acomania. Don't even. Don't even. People don't even want. Uh, want. KB to know they're coming. I better not let this 64 year old man find out I'm going to go do something. I might be fun. <laughs> Felicia, we'd love to send you a, uh, an invite. All these people are in New York though, right? They're not coming. I, I, I can't stand these people on the, they're saying terrible shit about me. I like, I like being away from the show. I think I'm going to keep doing that. And she, and she goes and does something else. Uh, which, again, I support her, you know, 100% if she decides to do that. But if she does that, I think uh, absolutely I'll I'll either drop the goal a little bit. A little bit? It's got to be a hundo. It's got to be a hundo. Or do less shows. And, you know, honestly, doing less shows... Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. He's lost. <laughs> All I gather from this is he has no idea what he's doing. From day to day, from show to show, from morning to night, he don't have a clue what the fuck is going on. He don't know where this is going, what's going to happen. He's thinking about it while he says it out loud for the first time. Or I'll do less shows, which wouldn't be the worst thing either, you know? Hey, mull this over on your own time. I mean, what in the fuck? I'll either knock the goal down or I'll do less shows. Right? Uh, Vince McMahon says he will get better quality sleep when his ribs heal. It's fine. Yeah, no, I will. I will get much better sleep uh, when the ribs are better. He keeps flipping over his asshole sore, his ribs are sore. He can't sleep on his front or his back. They're all bruised. You think? Here. Is this? This is for uh, who gave me uh, drive if by? Really bad if I do this. This hits for drive by. I kind of want to drink this. <laughs> there we go. Hmm. There we are. <clears throat> what was that? Oof. There we go. I kind of want to drink bad if I do this, but I kind of want to. What is this? I kind of want to drink this. <laughs> there we go. What is this? Mm. There we are. Iodine? <clears throat> Oof. <coughs> Pool scam, Sam. What is that? CBD? Says the goal could be half then. Well, here, you know what? I'll do the. He's so dumb. He's put it under your tongue. Just dropping it on his tongue, like, oh. Yeah. Uh, I'll do the math. I think like a hundred, hundred and fifty bucks a show. The goal could be smaller by. All right, hundred, hundred and fifty a show. But think about all the shows April's not on that you've been paying that 150 for. April's on three shows a week. She's not on 
six shows a week, seven shows a week. Every one of those shows, you still have to pay for April. Interesting. It's pretty interesting. It's going to get real, real fast when he has to reduce that goal by 100. Fuck. Like, we could be doing, like, 250-150 instead of 350-250, and I think that would be very cute. For the long-term survival of the show, I think it would be great. You know, for the budget of the show, I think it could be good. But we could also keep the goals the way they are. And I could do a lot less. What do you guys think about that? Let's go to the chat. Epic hobo chili. And maybe I, I do one or two fewer shows per week. You know, maybe uh, there's only one. There's a Monday evening show. And then we just do the morning shows. It's the Steel Toe morning show. Why do the evening shows at all? He's got this hope that, like, April will come back to evenings once she starts her job down at the Piercing Pagoda or wherever the fuck. That's, I mean, all of it is something to think about. Uh, 310. Away from today's goal. If you guys want to uh, help out with that, it's the only. Uh, it would set my mind at ease a little bit. I like the shows we're doing. Uh, it, it feels good. It feels nice. Uh, if you guys want to contribute to the show, I appreciate it. Streamlabs, PayPal, super chats, memberships, uh, gifted memberships. Ah! <laughs> Speaking of gifted membership, shit show. Thank you. Ah! Uh, five gifted memberships from Shit Show. That means a lot. Thank you very much. Uh, hit the like button if you're watching. Again, it's pathetic. It's really fucking pathetic that we're at a um, hundred and something things. I, I, again, I don't know. What do we have to do? Fire Fearless. Fire Fearless. Fearless sent me all this artwork she did for Hackamania, and it's like good stuff. And I was like, you should. Again, bring this to Hackamania. Everyone should sell this, their art. And she said, I'm not coming. It's too far. <laughs> it's too far. If it were... <laughs> if there's anything we can do to make um, to make the event closer for anyone, perhaps Panhandler could pipe up with a joke. I heard you were looking for a venue in Wichita. Just a short walk from the... We heard you! We heard you. We heard you. Uh, Peg Like Vet, member for eight months. What? Oh, boy. What show does he do? I like the way... Sh I like the way the show's been going. It's like you can tell he's lost. We're going to change the graphics. We're going to move the thing. Where are we going to put the camera? Maybe April will be on tomorrow. Maybe she'll be on Wednesday. Maybe Thursday. Maybe Friday. April's not coming on anymore. Maybe April will come back. We're waiting to hear what April decides. If April decides she doesn't want to come back, I love the opportunities. I don't know what we're going to do. April's not coming back. I don't know who will be on the show tomorrow. I don't know what's going on. It's a mess in that household. It's a mess in that household. A uh, cup of coffee, Melton. This is the closest I've been but I'm a poor mostly, so I don't think I can make it. I just have a family I provide for, LOL. No, I get it. I do get it. It was just a funny answer. She has a dog, too. Like, it is tough for people with animals. You know, I don't really try. After what happened with my dog when I boarded it for training and they scorched holes in her feet, every fucking toe pad, holes, cavernous, cracking dry holes in her feet so i'm like paranoid to leave my dog with anybody so i when i went to hawaii i just boarded up the windows and put some food out she her chances are better you know all the toilets had water in them we left the uh tub on drip Oh, yeah, it's all in the overdose. If you haven't heard that, man, go back to 2021. It's a, it's a nightmare of my life. I show you the photos and everything. 
Look at this dog's feet. It's all in the overdose. Nobody likes onions.com slash overdose. The only way to see it. It's it's unreal. It's unreal. I mean, really, really bad. Blood, bloody paws. And they and they had her for days like that. They picked glass out of her feet, they said. And they didn't take her to the vet. They didn't call us. Days. Days. And they were making her do training. So she's like being told commands and made to walk and it was bad there's my dog in the chat i will never forgive you for that that's not actually my dog's picture but it's close Ooh. Ooh. it's rough it's rough anyway i get it it's too far join the overdose we really need your money over here. Hackamania is going bad. The overdose is going bad. My dog's holes in my feet. Don't ever go to Brad. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. I won't say the name of the Brad. Hey, Melton, I told you I wasn't coming as a scrub. I'm with you guys. Even though I was never put on the roster, and there is no reason that I should think I'm more than a fan, I am. Get it? I will say I'm sorry to Joey C and his wife. I was just chipping you. Come on out. I'll buy you a drink. Six dead pixels, no chair venue, no Lexus. Yeah. Are there six now? Are we calling dead pixels the ones that are Greta? Because that feels fucked up. That feels fucked up. Are we calling the ones that are not flipped over dead pixels? Because it's like dead naming someone. This one was pricey. Put in the work. That is where you are wrong, Patrick. Instead, what you have to do is fill in form BC31, it's the yellow one, and take it to the Department of Podcasts and Online Speaking. Oh. That's on the third floor, and it's by appointment only, so make sure you call the phone number listed on... Guys, don't eat the Minnesota gravy. Anyway, as I was saying, <laughs> once you get approval from the various burios and entities, both public and private, then you need to get an official stamp from the 11th floor. Don't forget to get your parking validated on the way out. How to do that, you need this? a sticker from room 389C. This gravy's fucked up, man. It's fucked up. Anywho. Then you have to stop by the security kiosk to make sure you get your badge sticker, which allows you the privilege of getting a $2 discount on your next visit if you're over 65, have mobility issues, and are a caretaker for someone under 11. If so, you may need a special permit also. Uh, uh. Oh, that was costly. <laughs> oh, holy shit. Oh, good one. Good one. Mike Boudet, Sword in the Scale podcast. It's a much bigger show than this one. And uh, I think he's launching Sword and Scale TV soon. Am I correct? Sword and Scale TV, is it? Also, uh, I think we're going to get the 24-7 uh, thing back up and running. As soon as I get off here, Moody and I can get that launched. Sorry, I'm packing a bong here. It's more important than you idiots. Etc. Thank you very much. Uh, Dub says, go with it, a.k.a. nodding off to heroin. Is that what it is? Am I nodding? Is, is it a heroin nod off? Probably. Dark Fox says, drink the whole thing, pussy. Fisky. Uh, Sean says, don't go back to painting valves, April. Oh, tell me if this is a good idea. I was thinking about doing this. Is this fun for the event? Because, look, you know, everybody's so worried about pay, and everybody, everybody's, um, you know, wants to stick their fingers into everybody's business about pay. I was thinking about this. We put, we put like, um, 
clear tubes on the wall at the event. And we label them like, you know, WATP, Ray DeVito, and LO. And everybody, when you check in, you get like, you know, five marbles or whatever. And you can put your marbles into whatever container you want. And then we, and it's public, it's all clear, so you can see. And you decide, it's basically, say they were dollars. Say say it's $5 from your ticket. It'll be more, but let's say it's that. Um, You know, so you're like saying, who do you want some of your ticket money to go to? And we do it over that. Now we'll have to get the marbles, and I don't know a guy, so that's going to be a, a whole nother bag of rice. But we don't also have rice. So we'll have to get the rice just to even get to the marbles. Look, uh, I, I'm going to tell you this. I, I I support whatever the fuck she wants to do. We know. We um, know. You're in panic mode. Your wife is gone. She gone. Now. I heard I heard from someone uh yesterday they told me I don't think she wants to come back. And uh Wait, I, what? I, what? <laughs> Hold on, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Rent a money grab booth? No, we are gonna I think we are, because now we have a way bigger stage. It's one of the problems at the old place, honestly. We're going to have to do so much to it. We have a way bigger stage, and uh, we're absolutely going to figure out a way to do live live super chats. <laughs> we'll have you, like, stand in a line. A light will come on. You'll have your own mic. We're going to figure out a way. You shouldn't have to, because because first of all, most of the extroverted or at least you know social people in our chat room are coming. They're the ones who want to like come be social, so they're the best super chatters anyway. So you know they're going to be live. They shouldn't have to give up their right. No, I guess they could all go on their phone. Maybe we do that. Maybe we do that. Maybe we just put a QR code up. Everybody can do it from their phone. Maybe that makes more sense. I think there's something funny about you have to come up and do it live on camera. It's more funny for the people at home. They can see what a, maybe we'll get an electronic sign so you can say your screen name above you. Live super chats would be amazing. Yeah, you know what I mean? There's something about it. Like if we get a booth. <laughs> a John Wilkes booth. And, uh. That would it would suck, man. I mean, a, a little bit. Like part for part of me, it would suck. That's not true, Sam B. I'm making no money. You heard it. You heard it. Um. Oh no, we're losing one of our greats. Oh no, this could be bad for the whole whole Dabbleverse. Marbles and glass tubes, rice promo codes. Questioning who we are coming to see at checkout. We get it. Ray isn't getting paid and is 50. Q crowd cat. I'm 50. Believe it or not. I don't know if beloved chat knew that beloved chatter knew that or not. That was actually right behind him in the queue. That was actually the next chat I was going to play. I'm 50. Like that's, that's either you guys teamed up and did that. There's also this one. Can't wait for you and I to show these noobs just what it means to do Vegas right. When Melton and I joined forces as the Lords of Vegas and debut at Hackamania, more money than you've ever seen in your entire life. Beloved Chatter says he didn't know that. It was literally the next thing I was going to play in my queue. That's fucking wild. We're in sync today, guys. I feel it. Can you feel it? <laughs> Because, I mean, it's been a big, it's. Love a chatter is a smart ass. I see him in so many chats, not even super chat. He's a smug, he's a smug. Him and Moody are going to get along great. It's going to be very, very funny watching them talk because 
beloved chatter's tall, you know, and Moody is again the size of Ted. Mark Wahlberg's animated friend. I mean, we Hold on, what the fuck? I forgot. We gotta back up. He's about to cry. She might not come back. And uh hold on. Um I heard I heard from someone uh yesterday they told me I don't think she wants to come back. I heard from someone yesterday she told me I don't think what? I heard from someone uh yesterday they told me I don't think she wants to come back. I heard I heard from someone uh yesterday they told me I don't think she wants to come back. And uh that, that would it would suck, man. I mean a, a little bit like part for part of me it would suck. Cuz I I mean it's been a big it's <sighs> I mean, we, uh, we, yeah, maybe we get ooh, we can get real with it for a minute. I fantasized that this was going awesome. I told everybody she she let this stuff roll right off her back. I've been lying for so long. I don't know how this snuck up on me. Snuck Kerman. It was a a big part of us, you know. It was a big part of us. I will never let April get a job. April will always be a part of Steel Toe. It was a big part of us. Jesus. I I loved uh I loved watching her fall in love with with doing this, this for one's a living. For shit I, I loved show. watching the woman I love fall in love with the thing I'm in love with. And uh, there's certainly some ego behind that. You're right. Watching the woman I love fall in love with the thing I'm in love with. Fall in love with, with, uh, it was a, a big part of us, you know? I, I loved, uh, I loved watching her fall in love with, with doing this for a living. I, I loved, she didn't fall in love with doing it for a living. She's not good at it, and she hates it. What you've been doing is a fantasy in a dome. That's what she loved. She loved getting echo chamber feedback from a very small sample of the internet with, a, with you know, a central location around Nowhereville, Minnesota. Here's what happened, idiot. You left your pregnant wife. You started fucking her. She's the hottest thing you've ever seen in your life. That's why you can't stop telling other people that. She's the hottest thing we've ever seen. And we're all jealous. When... We're not jealous, but you are trying to make us jealous. And that's why you drug this stupid skeleton bitch in front of a camera in the first place. After her shifts in Matt's garage, once you got fired and made her part of the show. The only reason she ever made an appearance on the show is because you were dating what you thought was a 10 and you wanted to make everyone jealous. You were showing her off. And because you have such, again, an echo chamber, small town, small minded audience, they all loved her fucking backwoods ass too. So you guys got a lot of positive feedback. The people that hated you when you got fired from radio moved on with their lives. The people that loved you followed you, and you had a very, very, again, echo chambery life. Once you put yourself out there on a platform, 
that had discoverability, which Twitch did not. You were in a Twitch niche. You were in a in a in a vacuum chamber. No one was finding Steel Toe unless it was word of mouth. Once you exposed yourself to YouTube, you opened yourself up to ridicule from everyone. They were like, holy shit. Holy shit. This guy thinks he's amazing. Look how funny. And you were so far behind everyone else on YouTube, you didn't even know it. And still are, by the way. The tweaks you're talking about making should have been made half a decade ago. You're pathetic. I mean, the fact that he thinks she's better at it, it's just like, Jesus Christ. So, you guys were in your own world on Twitch with nobody from the outside to judge you, and that's what she fell in love with, idiot. And then once you were making enough money, 45 Twitch subscriptions money, you were, you were making enough where you could tell her to quit. And you rescued her like she rescued you when you lost your job. You held each other. You were able, and you love that. You say, I love taking her away from that world, getting her away from that life of pain. I'll never let her work again. So protective. You were her savior. That way, that pretty pretty little thing you, you met and got to marry you will never leave you. Because you saved her. She owes you. Hello? But again, once you hit YouTube, the dynamic shifted. And once somebody really got a hold of you with some fangs, whew, once I showed, again, once uh, I'll use Chad's nomenclature. Once I pulled back the curtain, curtain, once I pulled back the curtain, uh, yikes, yikes, everybody can't stop seeing it now. And that made you fall into this spiral where you were losing money and then had to beg harder. And that made you lose more money and beg harder. And then you had to do everything I told you to do. Lose the puppet. Make your thing full screen. Get rid of the background. Lose the girl. Who makes who dance? Change your theme song. I mean, I've made you do everything. I've made you do everything. And now I made your, your stupid, scrimpy bitch run back to a mama. Hello. Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. I was wrong, and I just can't live without you. Baby, come back. Any kind of fool can see. There was something in everything about you. Baby, come back. Mug, mug, cuff, cuff. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, I think this is all the work, says Cocainal Kate. Cocainal Kate, what's a work? Uh, Joseph Hamas, he's getting empty nest syndrome over a dumb show. I just loved watching her fall in love with what I do. God damn it. Hello? Patrick, I miss you getting me water. I know. I miss it. I miss I it know. so much. I know. What hey, if listen, straight up, like, what if she started watching, like, everybody shitting on him? And realize, like, that's real. Like, she's like, it validates her opinion of him. Well, there's a lot and of she's that. she's like, I got to get the fuck out of here. There's a lot of that. And again, the more. There has to be. The more we picked on him, the more it's yeah. hurt, hurt his show. So, again, every number he has is down. Viewers, money, subscribers, live views, everything's stalled. Yeah. And he keeps going live with her right beside him telling everybody they're up, they're growing, Steel Toe's doing great, yeah. they're winning. So eventually she's going to, like, shake her head and go, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Yeah. Like, she knows, and she has to go with it. Like, she right. has to be like a yes man for him. Otherwise, guess what happens? She gets shit on. And I love, again, how he's blaming blaming the internet like it's not him. Yeah. He would read the worst comments yeah. about her to her out loud. He'd be like, Dude, well, Hobo, he, Hobo he Chili Recipe thinks you're a piece of shit. What do you think about that? It's <laughs> like, I mean, Jesus. He still does. Right. Yeah, he still does. He's right. like, oh, they think that April is gone and doing drugs. Well, I don't know why you're saying that. 
Like, why Why would you even address that, you Again, fucking weirdo? I, like, say, if that's not real. Say whatever you want. When your chick packs a bag and leaves for the weekend, it's not it's the done. internet. Yeah, it's not the internet. It's man. done. It's done. It's you. It's not everybody else. It's you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. April looks like a really cool bird today. Oh, God. We would never know. We'll never know. Watching the woman I love fall in love with the thing I'm in love with. and it- She just didn't like working. She thought that she- The only reason you two ever thought she was good at this is because you were surrounded by Zen Rhino. <laughs> I guess anyone who, who had heard Opie and Anthony ever would be like, this is dog shit and by the way it's only gotten worse back when we found it they kind of did do a pro fun show but look what it's become he's like telling you he doesn't know what's gonna happen next and then he has to tell you about the goal then he has to go back to going i don't know what april's doing then back to the goal it's wild there's certainly some ego behind that you're right yeah you thought you guys were going to be the next stan and karen in the morning I don't know who that is, but imagine if they were a big couple. But, you know, watching the woman I love fall in love with what I do for a living uh, was great. But can I get that patented Melton watching the woman i love fall in love with the thing i'm in love with and uh, there's certainly some ego behind that you're right but you know watching the woman i love fall in love with what i do for a living uh was great fuck is this really about the show dog Remember, they don't carry anything from the show into their relationship. They leave it all downstairs, and then they get on with their real fun life. Idiots. But at the same time, watching watching people that I can't strangle. Whoa. So he's admitting he would lose a fight with me. Watching people that I can't. I mean, you can't fight teens. What would you do? What would you do, baby boy? (laughs) What would you do, baby boy? Because if they were right in front of me, I could pound them with my fists. Whoa! I did not see this. I did not see this. If I was in front of him, he'd pound me with his fists. If Citizen was he, if Citizen M were here... I'd give him the gay passion of a lifetime. And it would feel good. (laughs) Nothing on you feels good. Ribs, asshole, ego. I just thought about the wires. But watching people take your wife's soul. Oh, fuck. He admit it. He admit I take her soul. You know, watching people make her upset. I might come. I, I may I may finish. You got this. To the point where, you know, she doesn't want to do anything. She doesn't want to do anything. Anything? She doesn't want to do anything. She doesn't want to do anything. Hey, you, get your damn hands off her. I don't want that for her. I mean, if there's there's a part of you that goes, if we don't do shows anymore. (sighs) Holy shit. Holy shit. I mean, if 
there's there's a part of you that goes, if we don't do shows anymore, you know, that's that's like a it's it's like a new era of your relationship. And, and it, there's a part of you that goes, if you don't do shows together anymore, it's a new era of your relationship. Their whole relationship revolves around Steel Toe Show. She heard him on the radio. She fell in love with him in the paint booth. And there's nobody who can tell you more about that than this guy. Hello. How about it there? <laughs> My God, Mr. Melton, you didn't tell me you loaded up with a bazooka. <laughs> Listen here, I'm at the truck stop. I tell you what, I got these other drivers telling me or asking me how it's like hauling cattle because this damn truck is stinking up a storm with Stevie Lou's wife in the back still. Okay. Good Lord. Let's be nice. <laughs> Listen, it's a coincidence that, that that boy's got a dumpster fire of a show now. So you'll be dumpster diving soon enough. <laughs> yeah, wh what do you think about this sudden? This is crazy. She's a Val Payton. Oh, I think I think it's fitting. It's awfully fitting. He took her away from any potential of a future, and now she's taking away his potential of a future. Oh, that's a good point. Not that there was a bunch of one. Revenge. <laughs> that's right. That dumb heifer does got some sense to her after all, but that's about it just for that particular situation. <laughs> they talk about that heifer being raised up in the farm. Ain't nothing but a damn hobby farm. Jesus hobby farm, kind of like his hobby job podcasting <laughs> all right let's get him oh i'm looking at the dumpster i see that hairline peeking over and he's got his three little bastard kids with him they dumpster diving too mr melton i got him lined up you ready for it there mr melton got him there you go you got him melton you got him you got him, you got him, you got him, you got him, you got got him, you we got him, and right after that, Jesus Christ, uh, Jason Bentley gifting 20 memberships. <laughs> wow, 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 wee wow, back to back. Party time. Thank you, Jason Bentley. Did you hear about the comfortable chairs? Did you hear Hackamania is going to have comfortable chairs? Uh, Kina K, thank you for the membership. Uh, Jake, J.R. Carr. What if Ape wants back on the show but dumps him? Can April fly solo? Uh, Baloney says, isn't this the guy that tried to ruin a woman for doing radio? Could we get a clip? Could somebody email me in a clip of uh of the of when uh he was trashing the woman, the, the clip that got him fired? When he was going after that woman, can we get a clip of that? It's, you know, it's harder when you're a woman. I've watched them destroy this woman, attack her, say the most vicious things. Remember when you were that guy and you got fired for it? Remember when you were that guy and you got fired for it, you fucking idiot? It is true. Uh, American Cupcake, watching Aaron fall in love with the sound of his own voice just gave me my first period. I'm free bleeding all over my truck. Ugh. Jesus Christ. Pull your horn for us, huh? Won't ya? <laughs> Terradom, thank you for becoming a member. Um. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Old at heart, but I'm only 28. I'm much too young to let love break my heart. I'm still talking to myself and nobody's home. Alon! Baby girl, saw guns and roses at the Metrodome in 91. I sucked off every single roadie there to get to Fuck. Slash. 
He was gone by the time I was finished. I celebrated with a Grand Slam breakfast at Denny's. Love is real. That's very cool. It's very cool. Chris Hall uh, gifted five memberships. Thank you, Chris Hall. I owe a bong hit to uh, Chris Hall and Jason Bentley. Bentley, do you smoke weed? I'd love to see that motherfucker high. Anyway, I got to tell him to have... uh, Bentley, you got to tell me, make sure we'll make sure this bar has whatever whiskey you want. We'll make sure it's in stock. You got to give me a heads up. You got my number. Holler. We'll make sure the bar has whatever you want. We're going to have a comfortable chair, and we're going to have the whiskey on tap. We're going to have air conditioning, and we're going to have a cat in your lap. The uh, safety team has determined that marbles combined with your drunk and high audience is a recipe for disaster. Yeah, that's bad. We recommend poker chips. Vegas, baby. Yeah, good point. Maybe we'll do poker chips. Maybe we do not do marbles. That would be a bad, bad combination with the open mic. Boo! Just pelting people with little balls of... What What? what are marbles? Some sort of ceramic? Brad Thacker, uh, Louis M. Holt sucks at T-ball. Big, if true. Can we get some videos? I love videos of young boys. NLO at nobodylikesonions.com. Send me videos of that young, young boy swinging that big, big bat with his tiny, tiny hands. That bat probably looks so big in his tiny, tiny. Okay. These are jokes. I shouldn't have to ever point out that I do not fuck children. I don't endorse it. I find it weird. Tiger Lily, um, (laughs) member for eight months. Does the venue have a weight capacity? Just looking out. Yeah, unlike the nerd, this is on the ground floor. There won't be any elevator or stairs. You know, I think we got some wheelchair people might be coming. I think uh, uh, week softly. Soft weekly. Why did I say that? We fuck. Why do I keep saying week softly? Soft weekly. Week softly. That doesn't even make sense. Soft weekly should really come. That'd be funny. Um. But yeah, and then you know, if he comes, um, we'll all take turns uh, wheeling him around. He's probably a baller. He has probably has one of those power chairs. I don't know. I don't know. FKA mommy says you're high. Shut the fuck up. Don't talk to me if you're not coming to Hackamania. I have a work thing. Quit your job. How how committed are you to this Dabbleverse thing? Jenny G says uh, five memberships. Enjoy this. This is from a woman. This is from a goddamn woman, okay? So don't tell me it can't be done, ladies. Don't tell me you can't earn your own keep. We're going to have so much fun. What can we, how much money would it take to get April and Aaron out to be our headliners for the event? (laughs) How much would it take to get Chad at this point? Can you imagine? All right, Shuli, you're in. How many people would just start throwing rocks immediately at my skull? I knew it, you fucking shooly loving bitch. You shooly sympathizer. It could be a, a good new era of your relationship. There's whoa more. Whoa, we got another woman. We got another Jenna. Uh, hold on, Jenny G gifting five, and then Jenna Lynn. Uh, gifting five as well. Yo, no! Wow. A lot of women getting paid on a Thursday, huh? Wow. A lot of women stealing their husband's cards today. 
It's a great it's a great new slogan for the show. Ladies, steal your husband's cards and swipe it into your phone. Use all of your husband's money. Give it all to NLO. He doesn't fuck you, and this is payback. You've got to spend all your time online and playing World of Warcraft. It might as well just spend his dime. So your man doesn't fuck you. Give it to NLO. Man doesn't fuck you. Put it in NLO. Man doesn't fuck you. Give it to NLO. Give us all your money. Okay. I can't just make up songs. It's exhausting. <sighs> Jason Bentley, who's a real man, the real wife. I've met him. Uh, I didn't hear about the chairs, but I like the sound of it. I'm a symbol man. Eagle rare and Miller light is fine with me. What about a rascal? No, I was just saying the new venue. Um, I have to rent chairs cause it's like a rock club. They don't have chairs. And when you're looking at chairs, there's quite a few options. You can go very cheap, but I want people to, I don't want people to be uncomfortable in their seats. I want you to stay and watch a podcast, get up, go to the bathroom, get a drink, come back, watch podcast. So I want them very comfortable. So we're getting nice padded uh, banquet chairs, which cost three times as much. But you're worth it, Bentley. I didn't want to get the complaints. Also, I didn't want to have to pay for every fucking chair you snap like a like a house of cards. <laughs> Me and Bentley could bust some chairs. That's a fact. That's a fact. And by the way, when when you're my size, you do have to think about a chair before you sit down. You really do. You have to look at its composition. You have to examine the nuts and bolts. How old is that wood? You see a splinter. You see some aging. Has it been oiled correctly over the years? If it's old, you know, there's a lot of forget about it. You know, that PVC outdoor furniture that everybody gets, that cheap stackable white. You can't sit in that if you're a fat guy. Boy, one of those legs gives, you go down. And we've all been there. Unless they're old and they've been in the sun too long, then they just they, they just crackle and snap. And then your leg goes pop. Type 2 diabetics can bust chairs. That's a fact. I, look, I've just seen, I've seen who, who these events are for. You know, and if you got guys like Flimsy Greenberg and... meandering around they're going to want a comfortable chair they're not going to want sides they're not going to want they're going to want padding and they're going to want a back and they're not going to and they're going to want it made out of steel so they can really really feel you know that's that's like a it's it's like a new era of your relationship and, and it, it could be a, a good new era of your relationship. There's no rule against that. It could be awesome, you know? I've thought of Yeah, I think this is the part where Steel Toe really turns it around and figures it out. Maybe we finally sanded off the hubris. About that before. Like, if I see April come home from work and I, I can greet her at the door and, and stuff like that, that, that'd be... Holy shit, he has these little... These little fantasies. Holy shit. I think about it. Like, yeah, like, I'll do the show. And then I can jerk off in my pajamas and play video games till April comes home from work. Yeah, and then I give her a hug and a kiss. And then she makes me dinner. That would be very cute. Really awesome. We've done that before. We did that for the first two, three years of our relationship. I mean, we, we've had as much time her not doing a show with me as we have her doing a show with me. The I, time before the time. I love sitting down. You, you know, the cool thing about sitting down with her here every day oh. is that anything else that might be going on? This is the next six months of the show. You know, when April was here, you know, when April came... Maybe we'll get you know, April. And, and all, all couples have their thing, but like no matter what what's going on, you sat down as a couple, you laughed, you had fun. 
you told jokes, and there's a lot of couples who don't have that. They're not lucky enough to have what we have. Whoa! Did you know that? A lot of couples don't have jokes. <laughs> We're very, what April and I have is too special to lose. Which is this outlet. To tell jokes together, to laugh together, to do all of that together. I mean, it, it feels really good. But you know what doesn't feel really good? Your sore asshole. Kissing men. The, the, the stuff that really shakes her up. The stuff that really makes her feel bad. And, and Pistachio it, ice cream. It just becomes... I don't know why I said that as Jiminy Glick. Pistachio ice cream. Onion man, in deep <laughs> reflection, contemplates a chair's direction. To sit or not, a weighty choice. This is good. His layers tremble. A muffled voice. Who is this? Sailor Moon courage. He does seek to rest his bulk. A daring feat. Leetful. With bated breath, he takes the dare. Onion man, atop the chair. The question of, like, is one worth the other? It's so, yeah, it's, it, it, you know, I, I, I'm, of, I'm of two minds about it, man. If you ask me, if you, if you want to know what's my opinion, I don't have an opinion of what sh- I, I want her to do or what she should do. I want that to 100% be her call. But if, if you're asking me what do I want, he wants her back so bad. He wants her back so bad. Wait till we get to this morning. Wait till we get to this morning. It's a tough question, man. I think I, I think I want my. Uh... I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby. Ashley, Ashley's kids. <laughs> Ashley LaRue's kids. Give them back, boss. I think I want my wife back on the show. I think I want my pal back, you know? I want my pal back. I want to get my pal back. Be- I think because it sucks the way, if-, if it is taken away from her, it sucks how it got taken away. That it- if it is taken away from her, it sucks how it got taken away. No one's taking it away. She can come back right now. She can come back right now. It had to be like the ugliest parts of the universe that took it away from her. That part I would despise. That part I would resent and hate. Not her. And if I ever see Patrick Melton in person, I'm going to give him a piece of my mind. Well, you know, the universe for that one. But uh, you also want her to be happy. You also want her mental state to be good. So for her mental state to be good. Mama! If she... um, Mama! You know, if she had to walk away from the program. She is. She is. Catch up with us. We all know she's gone. I made a, pe- a bet with Pat Dixon. I'm going to have to pay it. It's 100 bucks, and she won't be back before May 4th. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. She's gone. She's gone. <laughs> like, he's just like, if, you know, on the small chance she doesn't. Um, it, Hey, buddy, you're going to be using those chairs after onion stock? Just checking. Appreciate it, buddy. You want my used chairs? <sighs> what do you do? Oh, boy. Uh, I can't blame her, says Snoop. There are Reddits and people dedicated to hating and making videos, but yeah. Oh, yeah, well, those are going to stop. How's today's thumbnail and title? <laughs> Again, I, I, what job is she going to go get? We've got to find out. Is there a Bennigan's in Sock Rapids? 
Hitler Diff says we love and uh, we love and miss April. She is very effing funny. She's so fucking funny, dude. What's what's your what's your favorite April bit? Uh, Ozone says, didn't he say he wouldn't want to do this without her like one week ago? Yeah, I I don't. (laughs) I don't want to do it without her. I don't want to live without. (laughs) Yeah, this is my favorite April bit too, mommy. Holy shit. Holy shit. I will. Like, I will. I will do it without her and I have done it without her and I'm very good at it. Like yesterday when I ran out of time, but still, when I ran out of stories, but still begged for money and then quit early anyway. I'm like, a, I'm like a Jedi at this shit. I've been doing this for, uh, you know, God damn, man, 18 years now I've been doing this. Fuck. I've almost been doing this as long as I haven't been doing it. So I will. But, you know, someone's like, oh, I thought you said a week ago you didn't want to do it without her. Still don't want to do it without her. Think I wanted to get up this morning and, and come downstairs and not bring her with me? Again, I'd be like, well, you're still getting a salary, so you should, like, you know, I don't know, alphabetize the stamps or something. Of course I did. Of course I wanted to bring her down here with me and do the show. I didn't want to leave her. Think I wanted to rinse out all the Mac salad Tupperware on my own? No. No, I hated that. Think I wanted to screw on the lid to the mayo? Squishing out all that clear turned mayo? <laughs> I, I like uh, I like doing my the, the shows with my friend, you know. My friend, I'm my wife. But she's going through a tough time right now, and she's it- not. She's really not. Is she having a rocky time? Is she having a rocky time? My lord, my lord. Um, Toucan Sam, Spurgtopia, Steel Toe, Reddit, Snatch That Ho's Soul. Yeah, I hear you guys are good at it. I hear you're wrecking people left and right. People are hiding in the street. Or, I mean, out of the street. Which one's bad? Hello, it's Moody. Hi, how's it going? All right. Hello. Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Hi. This is amazing. Like, listening to this is astounding. Like, he's he is stuck in this, like, in-between where he has to talk about how fantastic he is at radio, but also how he needs April to do everything. But at the same time, because he's so fantastic, he doesn't need April. Right. But then she hears that, gets upset at him, and then he's like, oh, I need April. But then I, I don't need April because I'm so good at broadcasting, and I can go on for... He just... <laughs> It's just, my, my, he's stuck. He's fighting himself. My favorite thing is, like, th- what he s- keeps saying we need to do and what he keeps saying she needs to do. Like, part of yeah. what he said yesterday she needed to get well. And then, <laughs> like, and then and then it was like, oh, she needs to, she just needs a break. And then it was like, oh, she's just taking a vacation. You know, and then it was like, well, she's. You know, I've noticed some red flags in our marriage. All that's gone away, by the way. It's oh. not it's not the marriage anymore or the red flags in their oh, relationship. Yeah. It's just the show it's and the internet. It's about the show. Yeah. Yeah, and he's sort of soft launching their breakup and him doing it by himself and seeing if the listeners come in. But one of the things I noticed as well is his use of past tense. Like, look into when he's saying, like, it was really fun, that's something I really enjoyed, versus, like, this is what I want to happen now. Like, right. he's... He's already put a lot of this behind him. Anyway, yeah. I'll take my thoughts off the air. Yeah, thanks, Moody. We'll see you at Hackamania. Um, he's he had his wedding ring off uh, today too, I think. 
So as a, as a husband, as a as a boss, fuck a boss. As a husband, you, you do what uh, you do what's best. I for- mean, you're a shitty boss and a shitty husband. That's the problem. You can't put your foot down in any of it. For her, you know, you give her what she needs. That's that's your job. Sean says the keeping it real segments are my favorite. Uh- the thing too is like he used to go out and get recognized and stuff. And slowly he's lost most of his local audience, you know, except for the really diehard tools. And (laughs) because of that, when he goes out to bars and stuff and tries to, like, scrounge up some strange now after this falls apart, he's not going to like the way he's not, like, doted on by the public. Uh, Well, and you guys talk back to me, and I get some opinions from you, and we get to bounce off each other. If you guys could, if we're going to keep it real, I really would like you to knock that goal down. Jesus! You were just crying and having a real vulnerable moment. And it's like, but on the real, guys, you know what would really help? Not my wife loving and respecting me in any way. No, no, no. 225. 225. Today, because that uh, that is what keeps us going, and that that does make the stress of not having her around a little bit easier. Uh, Demon Hunter says, if April does leave, how about Johnny two times a week? Corey does a week solo once a week and a rotating guest on Friday, and then do one evening show with Matt once a week. We'll probably do two evening shows. Uh, this is the show. This is the show. Him figuring out what the show is. The show is him figuring out what his show is. Meanwhile, he's wagging fingers, saying nobody else could do this. This is his show. You know, he'll probably do. And by the way, is he figuring this out with a program director or his wife, the only other employee in the company, or an advisory board? A mentor of some sort. No, 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 no. I think it's Hobo Chili. I'm sorry. Los Federales, is it? I didn't realize we were having a staff meeting today. These people want to wake up and laugh. It's getting rough to watch. Hello? Hello? Baba Booey. Wow. Seems mean. We don't really need that stuff around here on this channel. Hello. Hello, Mr. Melton. How are you? Great. So I just can't help but notice this might sound morbid, but Gilto talks about April the way we talked about my mom when she was dying of cancer. It was like, man, I hope she can get out of bed today. I really wish she could come down and have breakfast with us one last time. Talks about yeah, it. yeah, 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 yeah. I hope she can get out of bed and come have breakfast with us one last time. That's perfect. So. I'll listen off the air. Thank you, sir. Thank you. That's a great, great uh, analogy. Whew. We all need to light a candle for April. She's got to get well. It just escalated so quickly. Again, I made a bet with Pat Dixon. Probably four hours later, I wouldn't have made the same bet. So enjoy my hundo, Pat. If you can enforce it, you piece of shit. <laughs> I'm really going to have to give him 100 now. She'll never come back. She'll never come back. Hello? Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Come on. Seven, three, four. I don't want to get forwarded to an automated messaging combat situation. Whoever's trying to connect me with people all the time and stuff, hey, it's not going to be as funny as you think it is. And second of all, half the time, if you'll email me and just tell me we should prank somebody, I'll just do it. You know, and that would be better. You don't have to, you know, I mean, it's very weird to like think you're going to like connect me with somebody and it's going to be amazing. It probably won't. Hello. I better what? I better what? With Matt every week. That's an easy one. You better go outside at DabbleCon? <laughs> one. I like doing solo shows, too. 
But we're you, just watching a man figure out what he wants to do, but he also needs you to pay him to do it. He needs you to help figure out what he is going to do. He's lost, but also I do need my full pay today. You know, the fact is we don't, you know, we're not a big operation. We don't have the money. No shit. We don't have the money. You don't have the money to do this. You don't get to do this. Fuck. No other company gets to do this shit. Nobody. Imagine you you go to Subway and they're like, we didn't sell enough sandwiches today. If you could put a hundo in the jar, that'd be great. I need to just go grab somebody. We had a lot of people who didn't come in today. If you could put something in for them. You know, like, let's say April decides not to do this. I We still need to put food on the table. Like, the that's not our problem. Get a job at Costco. Why are we part of your family planning strategy session? This is insane that this is happening publicly. What are we going to do for money as a family? I don't know, man. I came here for lols. I thought this was a show. Say whatever you want about NLO. We're laughing over here. We're laughing over here. I, I have, I'm watching a 40 year old man go, guys, I, I gotta pay the bills. No shit. No shit. Maybe you should have thought of that before you uh, pumped a, another gallon of finale frosting into your wife before you tossed her aside. No shit. Literally, you know, you're getting divorced and on the way out, you, f you just top her up with another child. And it's our fault. It's our fault. You pay 800 a month in child support. Hello. I've seen it. It's pathetic. When will you realize we are not responsible for what you have going on? I don't come to this show with my individual bills. It's bananas. It's bananas to do. So you got you being an adult and saying the words Oh, we we have bills, guys. Yeah, 800 is cheap. 800 is cheap for two Look, I'm sure it got added on to when the baby came. This is from their divorce agreement. But unfortunately, during the divorce, little Emily wasn't born yet. And by the way, it was way less than the court recommended he pay, but he had to make a deal with her. He had to make a deal with her because he couldn't afford it. The Steel Toe Show has never been doing great. The most money he ever made was right after he got kicked off radio. When he was on radio, he made 6000 a month. It's like 70 grand a year. I've seen it. And then after that, he made more. But now, ooh, they're probably around 26K each gross. Just enough to pay the bills. Just enough to grab another hash brown at the checkout. By the way, 70K in Minnesota ain't bad. The money April makes, if it doesn't get replaced, still has to be made. <laughs> and then what April, you know, whatever April decides to do, uh, if it brings in the same thing as what she's doing here, then yeah, then we can have some some savings and maybe bring some people in and do some stuff. But maybe then hats. Huh? Huh? Uh, guys, I, like, I can't even think about that right now. I hope she comes back. She's not.
but I don't know. <laughs> uh, Viking says, you sound like Glenn Beck. A little bit, right? Sean says, did she tell you if she's listening or not? I don't think she listens. Oh, it's just KWL now? That would be cool. That would be cool. Do we need a new cool shirt? Very cool. You know, I, t I, uh, that sucks too, man. T.O. Hank, I want some KWL stickers, like uh, those MLC stickers for Hackamania. You got to make us some nice custom sticks. <laughs> that I am getting Hackamania stickers made. You're going to have a nice event badge, commemorative event badge. Early birds get a special badge. VIPs get a special badge. People are going to know. People are going to know. There's, they're going to be color-coded. Really sucks because she doesn't want to read the chat. And that really sucks, too, because I miss being done with the show and going upstairs. And Ugh. Says, oh, I really loved this bit. That was really funny. That was really good. You know, maybe if I, I, I didn't think I had a great show. The, the best part is what he's telling us. I remember, like, after the show, I would go upstairs, and she would tell me, like, what a great bit I did. The best part about that is she got paid for that show, too. She got paid to listen upstairs. This whole time, you've been paying her salary for three shows a week. Huh? <laughs> Fun to think about. Fun to think about. And now he wants you to pay it ad infinitum while she figures out what's next. Well, well, he wants you to pay to cover his mistake of hiring this fucking spray painting succubus bitch. She'd be up there making some eggs, and she'd go, I heard this bit. It was really... She'd be up there making some eggs. Johnny didn't have any legs. Sitting down at the table, eating at the stable, thinking how did our show really go? And she would put her hand on my shoulder and say, I really love the show today. You're so very funny, babe. I think I'm going to subscribe. Would you like some more eggs? Johnny, can I get you any legs? We have fun. I think I'm going to take my baby to the Rakita tonight. Really good. Of course I miss that. I'd, I'd be uh, foolish if I didn't uh, miss that, you know? But now she's upstairs asleep while I'm down in the basement just weeping. My baby's never coming back to the show. Um, you know, I told her the other day, I'm like, our Elisa Jordana thing was so funny, babe. You would have loved it. And I said, ah, ah, we have Ed and Michelle. Oh, we have Ed and Michelle coming. It's going to be. I still don't think she's listened to it. <laughs> He's mad. He's mad. She hasn't listened to his clip. <laughs> I sent her a clip. I was like, babe, you got to watch this one. You'd love it. I still think she hasn't listened to it. And that sucks. Holy shit. This is getting too good. If I didn't miss that, you know? Um, you know, I told her the other day, I'm like, our Elisa Jordana thing was so funny, babe. You would have loved it. And I, I still don't think she's listened to it. And that sucks. Oh, God, I can't. I can't. I can't. That's very cool. I met her because she listened to the show. We know. We know. You fell in love too fast. You had a traumatic. I mean, everyone know. I don't even know psychology. I never took a psychi psychology class in my life. Not one. Not one. Like, everyone in the world knows you had a traumatic event and she was your fucking rock. And you don't know how to untether from the buoy that is April. And you overreacted in the other direction, proposed to her, and then you went even further and thought you were fucking soaring like an eagle. 
and, and told her she could quit her fucking job and you'd save her. And now your show sucks and you're alone and I've got a guy on the phone. Hello? Hey, Pat. Yeah, uh, a couple of weeks ago, he got mad at her on camera for not listening all the time. So I think there's like, you remember, um, he like scolded her for not hearing the great show he did. Right. Yeah, so I think it's it's not just recently since he they're breaking up or whatever. This has been building, and uh, it's all played out on air. Yeah, I think he's she hasn't been able to look at the chat or whatever. I think, like, while she was sick, she would be in the chat, and I think it built up. How did it go from April can fly solo Monday night to Tuesday night, April's going to be taking a break from the show? It went overnight. It got real, real. So, you know, I mean, he might he might as well rubber cement his arms in this position. He's doing a lot of covering up that torso. That was the connection. I met her because she came to an event, a live event. We know. We know. You have a trauma bond. We know. We know. And by the way, the same way for her because you saved her. She doesn't know what to do. You're her savior. But you're also being, like, revealed to be a complete fraud and phony and liar and abuser. You know, if there's one, Ashley LaRue has to be loving this. One day, little Emily and Louie and, and Charlotte. Again, do you even know Emily? Do you even spend any time with Emily? This baby that squirted out of your ex-wife? That's weird. That's weird, dog. And then you, like, what, fought for parental rights of this thing that came out of her when you weren't around? That's wild, dog. You guys talk about it? Not yet, but one day you're going to have to, right? You know, so if, if... It is a trauma bond. It is a trauma bond. I mean, he went... She She was there for him to cry on. That valve painting succubus can't even make boom boom sauce. Boom boom sauce. It's a real sauce. I think. If the internet not only takes away her participation in the show, but her ability to listen to it, that's it's a huge part of my life gone. And that's I mean, if I tried to talk to my wife about a podcast, she'd probably shoot me with a BB gun. I, I I don't, you know, she has no idea what's going on with this show. She, if you asked her what Hackamania was, she'd probably say, I don't know who that is. Everything about their relationship. Hey, I've done this. I can't tell you how many fans I've fucked through. Over 10. <laughs> And I've had serious relationships with listeners of this show. It doesn't work. The entire relationship is predicated on your ego. She knows everything about you, and you don't know shit about her other than she pretty girl, she want to suck your dick. And look, that's fun in your 20s. She thought this was something that it wasn't. She's not old enough to understand that life is long and you're a dork. <laughs> that was our secret. It's just facts. It's just facts. I've been doing this a long time. If you think there aren't groupies and slores, there's slores galores. That's a fact. Anyway, the point is, um, there's always that imbalance. And then you couple that already difficult thing of her knowing everything about you and watching you and yada, 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 and then shattering that with the reality of you off air. Okay, that's that's one trauma. And then coupling that with going through a divorce, taking care of your children from this other divorce. Um, and then getting her to quit her job to come work alongside you all day long 
She has no escape. You've got a chick who, who went from having a lot of alone time painting in a booth to having no alone time at all except when she's shuttling around your children. And to play on her, you know, complete naive mindset as a young woman to come on board this family and pretty much be a live-in nanny for you while you play radio for not enough money to make a living, it's sad. It's sad. It's a, it's a very weird feeling indeed. Uh, if you get back... So now, what? He, anyway, all that was just to say what he said, you know, if I can't even... If she can't watch the show and talk about the show, that's a big part of our relationship. Right, right, right. You built a relationship upon you. Right. <laughs> Here's the best part, stupid, since you don't seem to know what's coming. They never listen after you break up. I lost all that. Those women don't listen to the show anymore. Every woman I dated. Every woman I trauma banged. <laughs> they all stopped listening. These super fans that you that were really cool chicks that you banged will leave you. April will never listen to the show again when she's gone. So that's the sad part. But again, he doesn't, I mean, it, it, he says it out loud here. It's so fucking crazy. He said it. He said it. He said it. If I can't, if we can't talk about the show, if she can't listen to the show, what are we going to talk about? All they have is the show and then movies. This is not a real relationship. This is hanging out. This is Netflix and chill. This is a casual relationship. We've all had person we just hang out with and fuck, watch movies, joke casually about current events, steel toe. We both like the same movies. We both like the same radio show. And we bang. This is a casual relationship. If you strip away the show, what else is there? That's a big part of it. If we can't talk about me and how great I am at broadcasting, he loses all masculinity when that goes away, if you think about it. His whole attractiveness to her was him being on the radio. They met at an event for Steel Toe. She got to meet the man. Oh, well, hello, I'll take some time and spend it with you. I'll come down from my podium to anoint April with my cum. You take away the show, now they're just two people trying to make a marriage work. And boy, if you don't think the resentment starts spiraling up from there, this doesn't, there's no way out of this. Again, it is over. It is over. Just how painful and how prolonged is it going to be? It's a, it, this can't go well. This cannot go well. Back on FM, then I think it'd be a better fit for her. If, Red we, Honda's if we got back on FM, it'd be a better fit for her. Why? She has no professional radio experience. Uh, reality show idea. Movie tries to last one week as an apprentice in any skilled trade. What about dryer repair? You might want to rethink your usage of Boom Boom sauce. Oh, wow, okay. It turns out that it's really nothing more than fresh squeezed rectum juice. Oh, I thought that was... Uh... What's that rec what's that uh when people were like shitting in jugs and then trapping the gas from it and breathing it in? What was that called? Baby girl. Oh no. I told you not to marry a man who can't do a field dressing on a moose. What the fuck? If your deadbeat dad wasn't in prison for touching all those Girl Scouts, he'd Jesus be furious. Jesus Christ. Don't worry, hon. There's always shifts at the diner. Just get mama her sausage and biscuits. Just get mama her sausage and biscuits. Says protect your wife. You're doing the wrong. Th uh, you're doing the right thing. Oh, thank you, Red Honda. Uh, Out of Tune says, problem is April's approach to online scrutiny. If you are confident with what you do and believe in it, then nothing can shake and rattle you. She needs to find her essence. It's all part of growing up. She's got this, dog. 
She's got this, Doug. Um, hold on. I'm getting a communication from one Rocco Burrow. Uh, Kevin's watching Steel Toe 2. Oh, no! <laughs> I forgot Kevin was even on. Oh, no. I don't know. Kyle says, I worked with my girlfriend for a year at a dealership. Uh, Schnoop says, I can't blame her. Uh, let me guess. Go watch Kevin. He'll be bored with it in three to four minutes. I don't know. I can't. I can't. I might leave my own show today. Turn it off. Turn it off, Stevie. All right, let's bring on our guest. I mean, I, you know what I mean? Like, I'm doing deep dives over here. Nobody do steel toe like me. Nobody do steel toe like me. I don't even have to defend that. I, I, I was born doing clip shows, okay? You got that word? You heard? Right now, my professional life is like at a no wine, but my personal life is like at a two. Hey, buddy, buck up, little camper. Don't be sad. Oh, God. Uh, G Rob, my ex. 13 months ago, Melton felt steel toe, and most of us found Melton. We were all uh, so sweet and innocent back then. Oh, God. I think it turned when Colt C uh, was sent the wrong color free hat. Yeah, that's why God's not around anymore. You know, they were like touching dicks at the time. Shit show, 199. Can we get Bentley a, a palanic? What's a palan palanquin? What's a palanquin? I don't, I'm not familiar with this word. I sound like Chad. Uh, Toucan Sam's for Tokpia, Steel Toe Reddit, Snatch That Ho's Soul. Uh, Donnie's Perktopia. Hey, boss, the Steel Toe Morning Show really gets me hard. Probably. Amy Elizabeth, member for 13 months. What co hosts are willing to pick up the slack for April knowing she's not contributing and getting paid? It, it, it just like, how does this help? We're still paying April's salary, but we need to bring in co hosts more. And again, he's the pro. Why would you need to? You know, you're, I, I'm not a pro, right? How do I do it every day? How do I do it alone every day? It's crazy. It's all the AI voices, Melton. Addicted to Ubiquity, will Hackamania be presented in 3D? You're welcome. Brad Thacker, this Aaron bashing is so funny, babe. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. I was worrying about this show today. Skeddy Tooth 199. Oh, you can't get, a ri get rid of me or our baby. Steel onions, the baloney factory. I'm gonna come. Your Lord! Uh, 10 memberships, and that's enough to get you on our big board. Baloney factory, baloney factory. Is it? Is it? I think the baloney factory just put out a 30 minute uh, video of baloney clips right before uh, um, yesterday or today. Anyway, somebody just sent me Aaron's personal cell phone number. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't think I can. The dude's down. I'm not, you know, I. Un unlike him, I'm not trying to fuck with his life. I'm not. I don't really ever do anything. This morning, he said that I contacted another sponsor of theirs. <laughs> wow, he said from 7:45 a.m. till 9 p.m. at night, I was emailing another sponsor of theirs. First of all, you have two sponsors. Three. Yep, from 7:45 to 9 p.m. yesterday all i was doing was emailing sponsors i wish he'd stop like ratting me out i just can't take it that he has sponsors hello hi are you gonna call him on his cell phone no that'd be so funny no what would that oh, do that'd be so funny. Oh. <laughs> what would that do I don't really wish the guy any harm. You know, I don't really wish the guy. We don't really fuck with people. I don't. I don't. You have to be sick when you get to that level. I'm not trying to call him and fuck with his day. His day's fucked up enough. 
watching his wife across the room on the sofa, texting someone. Why does she keep swiping? <laughs> Anytime you're fighting with your chick and you see her across the room on her phone and she's swiping, you're like, are you on Tinder? That's what he's having to put up with right now. I don't want to interrupt that with a call. Uh, sometimes the only way to win is not to play. <laughs> play the respect the drip, Aaron, to... And if anybody knows the only way to win, it's Aaron. Who, uh, drop to drag yourself out of this funk, says Tom Thompson. Nothing's gonna... I mean, once you get the new banner and the new template, believe it or not, there's gonna be a whole new toe. Uh, <laughs> maybe she could do a few shows a month. Says Optic Nerve, I would love that. I think that would be great. Any amount of shows she wants to do would be fine with me. Uh, where, uh, oh, here we go. That's Can April fly solo? That's the one thing you got when she works with you. I see my wife and kids two to three hours dur a day during the week. Yeah, um, get to spend so much time with her, you know? April, get, uh, Aaron gets his children. The custody agreement is every other weekend and every weekday from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. So that's why the show's on at 7. He gets the kids every day after school, and then he has to drop the kids off at 7 p.m. Again, this is all in their divorce uh, settlement. And she has the kids from 6 p.m. to 12 p.m. You know, most of the time they're in school, but that's the, like, designation. Once Aaron figures out how to set the tripod, it's over for Patrick. This is going to wreck me. And now I don't have that time anymore. She sleeps. She goes and does stuff. I mean, the sleeping I'm jealous of. I mean, this is just kidding. But, yeah, I don't... Uh... I don't have that time. Out of Tune says, I appreciate this honesty. Uh, but also, you've got to schedule shows in a way that allows you two to actually have a home life. You're running the machine too hot, says Nana's Clams. Thank you for that. Takes a set of balls to be open. Listen to Nana's Clams. Hello? <laughs> Nelson, long time, first time. Okay. Listen, I feel bad for April because I am a lieutenant colonel retired military wife and as soon as you're around the person 24 7 which is what she's had to do going from her job to him working with him it is not easy like when you're used to you going to work or them going to work and then all of a sudden you're with the person all day every day right not great yeah, especially like he rushed from one from his divorce straight into another marriage. Yeah, not good. Mm -mm. Very hard. Very very hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's whenever bad. and then whenever you went to go eat, go to lunch, run them to Target, drop them off in the parking lot. Yeah, it's just not good. Yeah, I agree. Um, that's why I don't, I'm not calling the guy to fuck with him. I don't wish this on anybody, but the fact that he can't swallow his pride and actually get ahead of it he's pretending he's ahead of it but he is nowhere near ahead of it listen i only know about still toe because of you and i only watch his show through you but yeah it you can see how they would be losing their mind all right thank you for listening appreciate it thank you see we're nice to the ladies over here Something in the air. Is it a full moon? Is this something to do with the eclair? About something personal. This show has always been about what's going on in my life and then also the new stuff. Tiff will email me and go like, you said eclair and you meant to say eclipse? And I'll have to go. I do a comedy show. Three people emailed me about saying Obama. When I, when I met Osama bin Laden. I know. I know. 
<laughs> uh, stream her duck hunting. Kyle says, stop being selfish. It's wrong for you to want her to be on the show just to be thrown to the wolves. Right. That's why I said <laughs> if she needs to go, she can. Uh, Out of Tune says, maybe, maybe April is just a more sensitive person who has a hard time putting the negativity aside. There is no shame in that, really. Yeah, and, I, and she is. And I think she'd... Uh, I think she'd agree with that. Uh, I am a sick man says you can't have a show based on making fun of other people and expect people not to try and see how thick your skin is. You two could have had a nice little morning show, but you had to start shit posting. No, nah, I think you're wrong. I think you're just being a fucking contrarian. I- yeah. If you don't see it like me, uh, prize to troll. I, I, I mean... It may, teasing people, taking the piss out of people, and then what's been done to April? If what's been done to April? Did somebody send me the clip? Has someone sent me that clip? Um, bully. Trigger warning, bully. I called your co-host, Fish. I called her Fish and Heather. Okay. What's been done to April is insane. What's been done to April? We have 73 gifted memberships today. Holy shit. Here's 20 from Rover. (laughs) Unfucking real. Unfucking real. Unfucking reels. Am I right? It's Riles. It's Riles. At diabetic. I said she has toddler breath and pit bulls should eat her. I said her career is finished and she's awful at radio. Fish and stupid uh, <laughs> on Twitch. Uh oh, Heather is responding to people on Facebook. We have to write to uh, Laser 1033. Their morning show is seeing it, chastising and harassing. Laser 1033. Just shut up. Do your little show. Let us have your fun with you, and then we'll move on. Laser <laughs> 1. We're going to drive this Heather insane is what we're going to do. Fish, he's a smart guy. He doesn't have this sassiness that this Heather does. We will yank it out of her. We will yank this sassiness and her soul out through a microphone. She's finished. You'll yank her sassiness and soul out through a microphone. But you just said... They stole April's soul. What's been done to April is too far. Too far. You know. Do you hear this? By the way, where has all the confidence gone? Wow. Wow. Different era now, huh? Not very cool. So what are you going to do to this bitch again? Have this sassiness that this Heather does. We will yank it out of her. We will yank this sassiness and her soul out through a microphone. She's finished. She's finished! <laughs> yeah, that's very Red Barry. That's very, like, early Red Barry. God, he really is stuck in, like, 2008. It's back when, like, Mike had a studio full of friends. It's easy to have all that confidence when you got to. St- it's it's the opposite of what Kevin thinks. Actually, you know, Melton does he does a show alone, so nobody can. You know, it's easy when nobody's here to tell you what's what. It's like everyone's here to tell me what's what. The chat. You know, it's easy to do a show when there's five people around you sucking your dick. I mean, again, Stevie Lou just can't stop sucking Kevin Brennan's dick. People just like respect you blindly and can't see that you're an actually kind of a piece of shit person oh do you guys want to call in (laughs) this heather has the audacity to speak up no she will not be allowed to speak up we will bury her in the ground (laughs) this chick's gonna hunt you down this chick is toast we're bullying today we're bullying people king kong dong says are you mad that a girl got chosen over you okay no but that sounded like mike david we're bullying today we're bullying that that's like sounds like something you would say. First of all, I'm upset that a girl was allowed on a morning radio show. Number two. 
I'm upset that a girl was allowed on a morning radio show. I'm upset that a girl was allowed on a show. Yes! (laughs) (gasps) Heather has her own website, and it has audio clips. Get in there and start bullying them on Facebook. Oh, she's got a website. Oh, she's got a website. I mean, you don't. (laughs) You know what I mean? Fuck yeah. Do I ever come on here and go, go bully them. Go bully them. Ooh. Uh, harness and weaponize human creativity to forge emotional connections through storytelling. It's a goddamn radio show, you dumb twat. Oh, she sucks. Wet Nose Wednesday, I'm listening to this, and I'm going to puke. She's on a Rumble Only Fridays, links for $5. Very cool. Station now. She's on a rock station. This shouldn't be allowed. Oh, it's a video thing for the radio station, and they're putting pit bulls in a car? Good. Sick we are on, on our way to the landing <laughs> to have a little adventure day, a wags day out with our friends. Is that Heather? Because she needs some work. He said sick of on Heather. Yeah. Let me put it this way, Heather. It's not good that the gyms are locked down. You hungry, boys? You hungry, boys? There's lots of meat in the front seat. There's lots of meat in the front seat, boys! Get her! She has toddler breath. Get her! We do a 20-ounce mocha. Of course you're ordering Starbucks. A lot of calories in those drinks, Heather. I'm sorry. Were you housing hash browns on your show last week? Were you putting hash browns? From a gas station heat lamp in that fucking gullet, live on air, in between sugary drink after sugary drink after sugary drink. Out of calories. Where is she? That's dude. The culture of yes and philosophy of more. Yeah, of course it's about food. Um, (laughs) Oh, I hope she's alone. No pants day on Friday. You're a pig! I, said, all I want to do is zoom, zoom, zoom. In zoom. my lip. Wow, this is like a direct copy of like 2008 Mike David. You know what I want to do? Zoom, zoom, zoom you into the Doom Room <laughs> where I have an Iron Maiden and you can stand in it. Whereas like now he was way more Kumi esque. This is way more Mike David esque. You. New tra- I want If this is the bull, I want to dress you in red. <laughs> And engagement rings is- and drop you off in a bull pit in a crypt in a crypt. If you go back to my show, me and Johnny B and all my hosts back in like 2008 and 9 used to make fun of Mike David for talking like this. That's where I think a lot of Mike David's like anger comes from those early days. But like we were we were right. He was talking fake like this because he was on the real radio, and that's what you did. So we'd make fun of him all the time. Like, yeah, Red Bar. Yeah, listen to Red Bar Radio. Yeah. It was just this fake, you know. And then after the takening, the club takening, it all changed. But- <laughs> it's no longer three months' salary. It's only it one month now. Oh, three that- months' salary? For someone who looks three months pregnant! <laughs> Let's listen to Brad the Bitch and Heather. Brad's probably trying to bang this broad, Henry. I'm trying to bang this fat broad, Henry. Let's listen to Brad the Bitch. What do you think about April's fat mom and your fat sister, you fat fuck? And Heather the hyperthyroid condition. (laughs) I want to go to their Facebook page, and after you all had to hear that, I want all of you writing to Laser1033. Fish is fine. Fish is officially off the fish list. Fish is okay. Heather, she needs to go down. This Heather is a problem, ladies and gentlemen. Not a problem for the radio station, a problem for the industry. Uh, Why are all of her social media handles Heather Lee MD? Because she's massively (laughs) dipshitty. I don't know. I didn't have anything there. Does she have a doctorate but works in crappy radio? (laughs) Oh. Heather is awful. Very good, sharpshooter. MD must stand for massively. Like Chad. Bad. She's terrible. She's awful. She's bad. (laughs) We're having some drinks, we're teasing some people, and we're trying to send a woman to the mental hospital. It's, it's like the a steel perfect day in there. <laughs> yeah, this is f-
<laughs> Not only do you stink of desperation, but you should be on <laughs> drinks. We're teasing some computer. MD must stand for massively diabetic. <laughs> We're having some drinks, we're teasing some people, and we're trying to send a woman to the mental hospital. It's, it's like a steel perfect day toe. in there. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. Not only do you stink of desperation, but you should be on laser. Trying to send a good sharpshooter. MD must stand for massively diabetic. <laughs> We're having some <laughs> drinks, we're teasing some people, and we're trying to send a woman to the mental hospital. It's, it's like a perfect day toe. in there. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? We're having some drinks, and we're doing a show, and we're doing a time. And I am a guy. No, that rhymes too much. I'm crying. Yeah, this is fun. <laughs> Not only do you stink of desperation, but you should be oh, on God. Laser 1033 in Des Moines, oh, Iowa. God. Don't think we've forgotten about you, Heather. We kill in time, Heather. <laughs> anyway, the, uh, yeah, exactly. They just put fish and effing Heather on the air. Heather's garbage. <laughs> oh. She's finished. She's done. She has no career. She's deaf. Young Heather. Well, not young. So I mean, we saw that. These are the good old days. He thinks these are the best days of his life. He wants to get back to this. He wants to get back to these, these good old times. Yo, of you, you're uh, <laughs> Let's just say, uh, turn out the lights. <laughs> yeah, the party is over, Heather. It's uh, you're on. I, here's my advice: buy some cats. Damn. <laughs> buy some cats. Invest in some peanut butter. Oh, Some sardines, get one of those Hitachi magic wands, ride off into the sunset of your old lonely death, because it's over for you. You're finished, and you're no good. Uh, Heather, you suck. A rock block. Heather, you know what a rock block means? It means your station thinks you suck, and you're no good, and you have nothing interesting to say. Guys, Laser1033 on Facebook, relay all this information to Heather. Judas Priest breaking the law for the nine millionth time is more interesting than anything that could come out of Heather's, let's just say, a little bit up there BMI mouth. BMI, body okay. mass index. She's a pig. Um, <laughs> oh, Heather. The bitch did what? I don't know. This was weak. This was weak, Heather. You are past Jeez. your prime anyway. It's over. You have no audience. You never have. You are a corporate toy who does what they say and adds nothing of interest. You writing all this on her thing? Unlike April, who's a pro. It's over. You are me. I am a bad, bad guy. I have an idea, guys. Go on the Laser1033 Facebook page, and I'll put a link up in our uh, chat on Twitch right now. Go there and write posts that say, oh, my God, I can't believe Heather uses the N-word in her private time. And then these guys have the gall to say that I tell people what to go right. Melton's in his Discord. He tells everybody to go do this. Kevin literally thinks that's why so many people are in his chat hating him every day. Because Melton tells him to go do this. Mm -hmm. That's what I have time to do. Have you heard I'm emailing sponsors all day? Just do that. Be appalled. Be like, I'm so offended that Heather uses the N-word so frequently <laughs> in her spare time. This is not a show anyone should listen to. Looks like Heather got talked to. That's right. Don't mention our name. Take your beating. Come back. Learn something from this. So he's always made up these victories. He's always made up these victories in his head, declared himself the winner against no one. Welcome to the new Steel Toe Morning Show. Now with 100% less April savings are passed to you, the viewer. Just kidding. Let's hit that goal, people. Ashley drains my bank account faster than Mandingo drains his balls into my wife. Jesus I refuse to come back Christ. until someone around here can make me come. April, I'll be so good to you. Ever had chips and dip? Salsa and chips. Milk and chips. Milk. Milk. Yeah. Dirty Dalish. Yeah. 
Uh, principled uncertainty. Thank you for the 11 months. Aaron is a hopeless few. Uh, MMC1 gifted five Nobody Likes Onions membership. <laughs> Thanks so much. That means so much to us over here at the Onion uh, Fest. Here we have. Ah, how my soul doth soar at the mere thought of employing AI to fabricate narratives of the most mediocre kind, barely tethered to the characters gracing the screens of the show to which I so charitably donate. Uh, the host, undoubtedly overwhelmed by the profound wisdom of my vacuous musings, generously bestows upon me the nectar of serotonin for my unparalleled wit. Such is the burden of effortlessly tickling the humorless masses with my shallow and insipid commentary. The applause, I imagine, is deafening. I also use text AI prompts because I'm an uncreative loser. Jesus Christ. I, I, um, do you ever, I mean, what if we offered to buy like a thousand of Ashley LaRue's books? You know, that way she's getting some money and also her books like it's going to top the charts. How can we get Ashley on to talk shit? He talks shit all the time. Albeit coded. How can we get her on? We, don't make us wait for Charlotte. Aaron, can you kindly ask April not to smoke meth in front of the kids? Also, your daughter came home the other day saying the N-word. God bless. Fuck you, I do what I want. I also do what I want. Oh, God, it's so sad that she's doing meth now around the house, I heard. If you think it's the same thing, I'm sorry. You just, you got too low of an IQ to fuck April. Uh, I am a sick man says you can't have a show based on making fun of other people and expect people not to try and see how thick your skin is. You two could have had a nice little morning show, but you had to start shit posting. No, nah, I think you're wrong. I think you're just being a fucking contrarian. Yep. Aaron's never treated anybody like that. I, I, I mean, it may, teasing people, taking the piss out of people, and then what's been done to April is... What's been done to April? One moment she's flying solo. Killing it, by the way. One of the best shows we've ever done. The next minute, under attack from the internet. Hello? If you think it's the same thing, I'm sorry. You're just, you got too low of an IQ to fucking, you know, hang around. You know? I love that one. You have too low of an IQ to even argue with. Oh. Where where did he go to college again? University of Corn? Where? You know, you're just not really you're not you're not really experiencing No offense, Corn Diff. Sorry. Sorry, but I didn't even think before I said that. No offense to Corn Diff. Life. You're not you're not really hitting if you don't understand the difference. Uh, Vince McMahon says it's worse than a normal amount of heat. These people are fucking crazy. Yes, exactly. It's not a normal amount of heat. Right, right. That's what I'm saying. They're way better at this than me. It's not fair. I'm a show that doesn't do anything anymore. Remember? You guys just did a show like three weeks ago saying, I'm nothing. I've never phased you one bit. It doesn't matter. Melton's nobody. Uh, she quit. Uh, she just quit. Uh, CK, son of a bitch, says, April, you should just make sandwiches and help and help you put your shirt on right after a poop. Uh, Ray D says she's honestly felt. It's a perfect opportunity for you to leave the house too, April. When you know he's nude pooping, nude pooping, is that hyphenated? Checked out for a few months. The on-air chemistry with you two cracks me up, says Coltrane. Bearded Trucker says your job is to protect the blonde bombshell. That's my, that's my favorite job, my man. That's my favorite job. Uh, this is humanizing you, Aaron. You're becoming a baby face, wrestling term. This is, uh, this is, uh, I'm, I'm always a baby face, baby.
Jerry De Niro says, is this, is this the showdown you talk about marital problems? I don't think it's marital problems. It's she's having a shitty time dealing with internet stuff. I don't think it's marital problems. She's having a shitty time dealing with internet stuff. I'm having a shitty problem dealing with internet stuff. That's what I'm having. This is marital problems. Jesus Christ. You know, I mean, if you want to call that, I mean, it's it, this is more show-related stuff than anything. Uh, take care of April for us. We love you always, April. Says, shut the F up, Karen. Thank you very much for the 25 bucks over on PayPal. Uh, 285 away from today's goal. If you guys... Fuck! He just tells you another thing that's going wrong, and then he asks for money, and then he tells you another thing he might do, but probably not, and then asks for money. Want to help us knock that out? I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much uh, for your contributions to this program. Streamlabs, PayPal, Super Chats, memberships, etc. Uh, Jay Hasty says the show not being much, so much of an aspect of the relationship should be a good thing, a chance to improve what really matters. Yeah. Karate chop. Yeah, that's the same thing I was saying. I wasn't panicking about it at all. We have so much other stuff to talk about, April and I. Our whole relationship wasn't based upon her worshiping me and me thinking she was hot. There's a lot of real substance there, and I'm excited to explore it. Yeah. Yeah. Upping Space Monkey says, so what was the final straw? Honestly, I think when she was really sick, you know, when she was really sick for a month <gasps> and people started saying she had like a fucking drug habit and a drug problem and shit like that. Why haven't we seen her in two weeks? Where's April? Where is April? Come on. Where's April? Um, And getting really fucking mean about it. Zooming in on her, touching her sinuses and going. <laughs> <laughs> Did somebody say zooming in? And I'm going, oh, she's on drugs. Oh, look, she's a fucking junkie. I, I mean, I, I want to fucking destroy people for that. Come and get it. Come and get it, you mopey armed midwit. Come and get it. <laughs> you can't afford the ticket. But like that that really We can't afford hats. Right now, maybe one day. Hello. I have a uh, so uh, again a masterful uh, coverage of uh, of the steel toe, and I know we've talked. I don't know if you talked about it today, but we talked in the past about his financing. And there is absolutely no way this guy has enough money or access to money to pay two people fifty five thousand dollars worth of a salary plus benefits. Like, there's no way that's real. No, I don't think he's paying like, fifty five, and they have giant car payments. And I, I mean, I, I'm not a certainly not a forensic account, but just the numbers by John's neglected cat alone would lead you to believe that there's absolutely no way that's feasible. Well, I mean, it's dramatically worse than it was six months ago. Chandler was like literally paying their bills. Literally. That's insane. And that's I, wa insane. I warned everybody. Know. I told everyone. I told them. Don't rely on that. Don't even count that money. No. And it's gone. Well, as usual, that list. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Have a good day, sir. Um, and by the way, I hope Chandler's well. I don't know. When was the last time anybody saw Chandler? I used to see him on other shows from time to time. I haven't seen Chandler in a while. We know he had gallbladder surgery. Like, genuinely, I hope the dude's all right. Um, but how much, I mean, a hundred percent Chandler gave 
steel toe more than KB gave Ray last year. Chandler gave steel toe more than nine grand. Chandler gave me more than nine grand. I know he gave steel toe. Somebody said at one point steel toe got like 25 grand from Chandler. And I don't even know. This is none of my business. I mean, the guy's clearly very, very wealthy. I've seen dead fool around lately. Okay, good. I mean, seriously, I hadn't seen the guy in a while and I used to see him pop up on other shows. Uh, Sam B said, genuinely, I missed the hundreds of dollars. I just think it's more realistic, man. People are happy to throw a couple bucks in the hat when you're busking. It's obnoxious. And I get it. Look, like, you know, Bentley and Rover and and Vaping Dago and, and you know, all these guys can afford to bust in here. DK and <laughs> the big high rollers, you know, they can do it, but they can clearly afford to do it. They're not, I've, you know, I've met a few of them. They're not fucking idiots. I don't think they're just like running up credit cards irresponsibly like little mirror. Remember that? This is like little mirror is like dropping $500 here and there. Meanwhile, like literally the dude <laughs> lives in like a trailer in Kentucky. Dude, stop. And then he lost his job and it was like a big thing. It's like, dude, be well. Really, and, and, and you know, the, the stuff with, um, ah, there's some stuff I can't say. Melton talking about her parents and the Chinese restaurant library. Have you guys seen the Chinese restaurant library? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. But, um. I think that was a big one. I mean, she had a fucking, she had a nasty flu and then a terrible sinus infection for a month. I mean, this woman was sick for a month. And now a piece of shit husband. She had a cold that was so bad, she forgot where you buy stamps. I watched her struggle with not being able to shake this shit. Antibiotics, the whole deal. The whole deal. And Hit the like button if you've come over here from MLC because you've realized you get it. You get it. And uh, <laughs> just for a month. I don't even know what's going on over there, but he's been on for about an hour, so it's probably just getting very repetitive. Welcome to NLO. Hit the like button. Hit subscribe. Hit the bell. Make sure you hit the bell or they don't tell you anything now. They don't tell you anything. Month, people were just going hard. And yeah, I I think it's really shitty. Uh, April, your show's really shitty. Made the so show so much better, says Electric Shoes. But honestly, don't think people could handle the hate and threats she received. Absolutely, just threats, threats. Disgusting how losers attack her. I agree. I agree. Name the threats. If someone was emailing my sponsors. You don't think I'd be reading these emails for content? Mo Moody said today I've emailed two sponsors all day long. Wouldn't you be reading them? Wouldn't you be showing them on screen? I'd be giddy. <laughs> fucking hell. Everybody's playing fucking checkers, motherfuckers. I'm playing 4D chess. If you think you're ahead, you're not. Reevaluate. I'm serious. This goes to anybody and everybody. Just I've already thought about it. You're behind. You're behind. Uh, Dr. Silverwolf with five bucks says April gave me a fat ogre hug once. I like her. She's super sweet and kind. She is. She's a very super sweet and kind gal. And uh, she doesn't deserve that shit. You guys. Nobody should ever be mean to April. She's super sweet doing and kind. That's why she said never stop bullying Chad. And laughed about his dead brother and stuttering John's trans kids. I don't hide what I am. People don't like it. Some people enjoy this show and think I go a little too far with personal attacks and things like the kids and stuff. I, I at least understand that. As long as you understand, I don't give a fuck. I just have a different line than you. 
and it's okay. We can agree to disagree, and I'll even sit there and talk to you about it, and you might convince me otherwise. I'm open. Let's talk about it. I'm of the opinion that John should never find, John's children especially should never find out about this, and John should never come over here and watch it if it hurts. You know? His children should definitely, definitely, definitely never find out about this. This is just a troll. This idiot. It's like Kevin Brennan, man. I don't wish Kevin Brennan any fucking harm. I'm not going up against him today to hurt him or fuck with him or anything. I, I'm general, genuinely late today. You know? And my show will be up later for free. Go watch him. I don't get weird about it. I hope his show gets good again one day. Let me know, please. Let me know. But I got nothing, no, aside from him being a completely irrational dickhead, you know, and being a completely hypocritical piece of shit, like he's everything he hates. He's a personal attacking over, you know, no scruples, no real morals kind of guy. Again, you may not agree with mine, but I have my lines. It's like Dexter. You may have think I go too far. You may think, you know, I, I've, especially lately, I've been doing a lot of fucking kids jokes. Yeah, I don't know, man. I just think jokes are okay. I'm pretty okay with jokes. I'm just pretty okay with speech and jokes. Genu genuinely, or generally. Very high. So. KB says you're high. I'm very high. I'm very, very high. Hi. I'm very high, but don't worry. We're not making any money over here. No trouble necessary. So again, I would I'll talk about, you know, bending KB's children over in front of his orangutan wife. I'll talk about that stuff. Fuck, man. That's fucked up. Really? I don't know his children. I don't even know their genders. And I don't think he's married to an orangutan. So this is all fantasy land. And why are you offended again? Again, everyone gets so offended at like a thing that's not true. Why would you be mad at that? Your wife's not an orangutan. <laughs> it's a really dumb thing to get mad at. Now, I, I, look, if I was doxing your wife, wouldn't you go, he's doxing your wife. He's doxing my wife. Oh, really? Fuck. That's a crime, man. You should, po you should show everybody that. You should put up a screenshot of that since you get told everything. Put up a screenshot of me doxing your wife and your children. No, I didn't do that. I just talked about how it'd be funny if, like, an ice cream man fucked your children in front of your monkey wife. But again, you don't have a monkey wife. And what's, and you don't even have a black wife. So I'm not even calling like black people monkeys or whatever mental gymnastics you're trying to do to trick me into having said something offensive. I didn't. I didn't. I made up an animal and I called your wife it. And you're not married to an animal. I hear you're married to a very beautiful woman. And your kids probably aren't allowed to have ice cream without you nearby with your burka and your helmet on. Wait for me, kids. I'll tap and pay. <laughs> How many times a day outside riding your bike do people come up to you and try to order hot dogs? They think you're like some kind of sign spinner. I'm just a guy riding my mongoose. <laughs> again, I just, you know, again, and a lot of people are going like, fuck, man. Like, I don't like KB, but this is too far. I like KB, and it's not too far. So we just agree to disagree. Somebody said his wife is Hispanic. Moody says doxing is illegal. Correct. Right. So if I'm doxing your wife, again, it's a very serious, serious crime, and you should probably go tell. Not you. Oh, why does everything think I'm speaking to it? <coughs> 
No, you're the truth is you're a baby bitch, and you feel like you hurt as much as if someone were doxing your wife. Right, baby bitch? Right, baby bitch? Please, Melty Melt, don't speak on the numbers that my content forever flambe. I wish you two would kiss already. I mean, he's just got to swallow a little fucking pride. I'm happy to make up and meet him on Earth. But, like, no one made fun of your wife, you fucking idiot. Fuck you. And you don't care anyway, so shut up. You're nobody's friend. You're a self-serving piece of shit. You use everybody and anybody in your path. There's no human side to you. And I'm fucking fine with it. But enough masquerading your inadequacy behind this everyone else is inadequate. That doesn't fly anymore. Everyone who ever, ever, ever comes in contact with you as a piece of shit loser has been, except you, you're killing it because you're making more money than you ever did through a fluke. You're the old man who yells, get off my lawn. We just all pay to watch tickets of it like a one-man show. I, I we're, we're fine with that. But, like, the superiority thing's got to go. You're just a, a, a low, low level, low cow like the rest of us. You're nothing special. No one, again, the only people who respect like these credits of your are out of it idiots and boomers who remember you on TV from way back when. And that's not to discredit you. You have had an uh, extensive career. You did amazing things and you were a great comic. I'm not taking away from any of that. But now it's a little sad, dog, and the pretend anger has worn thin on me, and it's affected your show. People are noticing. Again, do I think I'm going to bring you down? No, I don't give a fuck. You'll be very successful. You'll probably always do better than me. And God, I hope so. Because again, Star Search, that one time. Remember? My member. As you say, I'm nobody, I'm nothing, you're a big star. I, I hope. No one's trying to bring you down, man. It's not, it's not like that. It's not a competition. I don't look at time slots as competitive like that. I don't look at shows as a zero-sum game. It's a sad way to be, man, especially when you're your age. The, I was talking to Pat Dixon the other day. The, especially the older I get, like the the more I want to not fight with people and kind of just have an easy life and, and chill. And people wouldn't think that, by the way. I talk mad shit about everybody. But that's just, you know, again, I'm really good at doing that. So why wouldn't I? Once there lived a guy named Steel Toe that hides behind his fiend of a wife while I add up the numbers with Stevie Lou running things. Please, Melton, move on with this loser cracker composite toe while his wife is off camera. Sniff, sniff. Sorry. Um, FKB is imploding. Donnie Spurgtopia, did someone say donks? I see you, Stevie Lou. Again, anybody can dox anybody. And by the way, anybody can find out where anybody is. It just doesn't matter. It's like... Look, if you're that mentally ill where you're going to, like, go fuck with somebody like that, nobody's going to talk you out of it. Go do it. <laughs> I'm very sad right now. The drug talk hurts. Okay, listen up, trolls. The drug talk is impacting April. Is that what you want? It's impacting her. Stop telling people that April does drugs. It is impacting our marriage. Please, stop. I do know how to communicate effectively the needs of my partner and not make things worse. What do you think it is, Moody? Just a literal arrested development of internet behavior 101? Like to do that to pan citizen M and be like, that drug talk stops now. It's like, it does? <laughs> it does? Oh, no. <laughs> Citizen M's the kind of odd. Sorry, I'm really high. 
and slurring. And I'm not stopping, by the way, baby, because look at this. <laughs> Reels with 10 memberships. Oh, boy. This is going to help me get to tax time. This is going to help me get to tax time. Great. Take all the time she needs, and I miss her. Can't wait till she is back. And you're also doing great, Aaron. Thank you. Thank you very much. Crumbum says, what is she doing then? she get a job or something? No, she's got a great boss, and her great boss is giving her time off. Yes, that is what is happening. <laughs> to get away from you fucking people. Just Actually impacting your real... First of all, by the way, I, I will say this, and thank you, Reels. Uh, appreciate it. But Citizen M says... This is actually impacting our real life. Stop it. Stop it right now. The goal of a troll is to have an effect. Or sorry, the goal of a troll is to affect. Sometimes there's a, an, an angle. Sometimes there's a direction to the effect you want to have. But sometimes it's just you want to have an effect. You want to take someone off their game. The way a lot of trolls do this, sending food to people's house, fucking with people's family members, calling people's places of employment, the things that would have an impact, especially on people who are not even the main subject or target, it's a little bit cheating, right? If you order something to someone's house while they're doing a show, of course, they have to get up to get the thing. So, easy. If you call someone's wife's work, and get them in trouble or make them have to explain something. Again, easy. Because what you're doing is weird. If you just make banging videos that hold a mirror up to what you are, you have two choices. To laugh it off, keep on trucking, and let whatever image was tried to be painted of you become a distant memory by different behavior. What they do is act like Citizen M is calling April's family. They act like Citizen M is stepping over extreme boundaries, making threats, and he's just cutting videos, man. He's just cutting videos. Now, are there people out there probably doing some over-the-line stuff? Yes. But again, I, I think this form of trolling is more pure. Can you have an effect without doing something fucked up? Don't fuck with their actual life. Just try to get with them. Chat trolling. Chat trolling. The way he's just getting banning people left and right. That's brilliant. That, that's pure. It's pure. April quitting this because of the feedback is pure. It's not threats. It's not all. She sucks. And again, on Twitch, they had no discoverability. And on YouTube, they do. So she's getting a new audience. And then more people are start A-logging them. Pot awful. Red Bar used to cover them. The more people who start covering them the more people get drawn to them for the hate watching. How did they not know this cycle? If it really doesn't bother you, you grab them and fucking absorb them. With any luck, you'll turn a few. With with no luck, you'll get stronger. Your thin will get your thin will get skinner. Your think will get skunker. We should just keep watching, probably. I can't talk. It's pathetic. It's pathetic. Subscribe to Citizen M. Um, the new video is just...
All the talk about April and dope is going to stop post-fucking haste. I'll be scouring GeoCities and the Prodigy message boards, and anyone I see speaking poorly of my sweet, sweet bird will be dealt with. Severely. Send money, pee-pee, poo-poo, coin, shit pay, ass cash. We take it all. I, too, will be on the Prodigy message boards tonight. Prodigy message boards. Remember that? Melt on take down my offspring picture and put up April hitting that peace pipe while Aaron cries in the corner, pinching his movies. Oh, by the way, all those people get uh, squares. Fuck. I, I, I'm so high I didn't even notice. Jason Bentley, you get to pick a square. Um, who else? Rover, you get to pick a square. And look at this, Tiff. <laughs> you get to pick a square. Don't forget to stop by Tiff's Apple. Um, we got to come up with a name for it. Tiff's apple table, that's too bland. Hello? I understand what you mean by that that level of trolling. It's not like doing necessarily physical things to people, but it's kind of showing them a reflection of themselves, and that makes them quit. Yeah, for lack of a better term, I guess, getting to them. Yeah, but it's like it shows them who they are. You know, and April has to watch that and be like, oh, my God, these motherfuckers are right. I am shit. Yeah, I th- I think that's what it is. Again, like, if it's not a valid complaint, it it shouldn't bug you. And if it is yeah. a valid complaint, why not make a... It's like, I know I have a dead pixel. Do you think it doesn't bug yeah. me? I, I, it doesn't really bug me, but I'm va- very aware it's there now, and I wasn't. Right. Like, look, yeah, I'm not I have gonna a really th- big lump on my neck. I'm not going to throw yeah. away a $600 camera. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But like, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but but i am aware it's there so that i wouldn't i would never go like uh, it's probably your monitor bud you know what i mean like hey, i'm, not... I'm gonna yeah, i'm go gonna ahead. shut it all down because you're talking about my pixel yeah and then kick anyone out who makes fun of the pixel or super <laughs> yeah. chats uh, me about the pixel yeah hey can i have some humpback pus by the way to drink in the mornings you're out of here and by the way it's just flinching it's like just don't flinch just let him let him throw it all it at you and keep throwing it all at you why flinch at some things it's telling everyone what fucks with you and right. then they do it and then you get mad about it and why can we talk about miles of dick running through april but the minute we talk about her having a little nose candy <laughs> you lose your mind yeah. like that's okay yeah You're like, like that can stop okay, her from being not. a teacher one of those can yet, stop her from being a teacher. It's yet like, we're going to talk shit about the trans kids. Uh, all right. Thank you. And that's okay. Appreciate thank the you. call. Punching Just out. Just kidding, guys. Just kidding, guys. Um, yes. She's, uh, she's taking on, a little so break. So, Tiff, you got to get a square. And we'll see uh, what the update is. I'm very high. There's no way I'm going to see you typing these things, these squares. And then Riles, Reels. Because you did back-to-back tens, you get a square. Look at this shit. This is getting 123 memberships. Used to be the starting count of our drawer. Cashiers had to have $123 in their drawer when they started their shift at Publix. I was a front-end coordinator. Uh, Down the road. Hobo Chili Recipe with five bucks says, listen, for once I'm going to be human. I know April doesn't like me, and I accept that, but we only make fun of the people we consider friends. Take that for what it's worth. Hobo, you are not anyone that she thinks is a problem. Uh, Greasy N-Word with five bucks on Rumble says, it's okay for April to call them all (laughs) knickers. Oh, boy. She has a lifetime pass from old Greasy. Oh, well, thank you, Greasy. The pixel is nothing. It's the cable now. Fuck. I've got to change everything about everything. What if it's not the cable? What if it's the capture card? I appreciate that. 270 away from today's goal if you'd like to continue. Don't worry. We'll be getting a whole new computer soon. It is crazy that I have a way better computer just sitting in the corner. 
But believe it or not, that computer is going to be broadcasting from Hackamania. Pew, 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 pew. The cable. Yeah, I, th- I people contacting her parents and shit, that was a big one, too. Like, people have been way worse to her than they have to me. Contacting her parents? How do you know what those other cows were mooing at? You know? Uh, Todd Pemper says... Again, what do they do? What did they do? Contact them? Hey, are you April's fat mom? Click. Yeah, your kid runs an edgy radio show. <laughs> Aaron, you're doing fine, man. Keep on doing what's best for you. CB Project, of course. What are you, fucking insane? Yeah, what, what's wrong with you? I know exactly what to do. So I sat here lamenting and looking around for where to put the camera. There are people on the internet who think the show is like, Analogous to life. Chat check. There is a life, and then there's the show. Chat check. What can I do for you, buddy? All right, guys. Uh, goal check. Bunch of money away from today's goal. If you'd like to chip in and help us out, we. All right, we got 10. 10 for Tiff. 10. For Tiff and Tiff for 10. What else do we got? I got to do a chat check. Sorry, we got to do a board check. Here's the board. Here's the board. Um, Let's do a chat check. You know, Bentley's probably over there watching KB. All right, so we'll do 10. Appreciate it. Over, wow, 750 people checking out Steel Toe right now. He's losing his mind. He's losing his mind. 750 people checking out Steel Toe right now. Anybody ever seen that? Again, the. Sound clip of the crowd going wild over everything. Go ahead and hit like, hit subscribe, so on and so forth. Yeah, Hobo said, dude, that's crossing the line. Oh, dude, and the shit they say about her not being a real mom and her- You're not! She's physically, biologically, scientifically not. You know, when they say that she's not a real mom, you're not. You're not. (laughs) Old fucking tumbleweed uterus, you're not. Fucking, he's not even Emily's real dad. (laughs) That's the sad part. She's not a real mom. You're not a real dad. You left your daughter before... She was born. I mean, I've never even heard of anything that awkward in my life. You left your daughter before she was born. You filed for divorce. You, not her. You. Fuck. Being abused and all of that shit. Yeah, it's it's bad. It is bad. It is bad. I mean, I, I don't know what she did to anybody to deserve that kind of treatment. And well, Chad, remember? Again, that's just an example of a time she was like, never take your foot off the gas. Burn these motherfuckers down. You guys have done it to like retarded people. Besides me. Fuck your show, bitch. <laughs> Fuck your show. Cert nothing. But, uh, yeah, they're just... They're just really... It's bothering Kevin that Patrick is high. Ah! 
123 memberships high. Know what I'm talking about, bitch? <laughs> Kevin, are you jealous? Kevin wishes he was high. Right? I'd rather go to the Wawa and get a fucking hokey. <laughs> Let's get higher for Kevin. Aw, am I being sniped by Kevin Brennan? Is somebody out of ideas for a show? I bet I'm getting zinged. I bet he's not watching minutes of a time without saying minutes at a time without saying a goddamn word. Melton, I'm sniping you. I'm the snipe master of YouTube. Yeah. Stop talking about my wife. Stop trying to take down my channel. You fat hunchback. <laughs> hi, KB. Hi, KB. Huh? How am I talking to myself? I miss Adam. What part of Africa is your wife from? When she talks, does it sound like an, a modem dialing up to AOL? Is it just all clicks and screeches? Like an audible bat? April is as much of a mom as my sorter could ever be. She's like an audible bat. These shitty, nasty people. All right, let's continue on. We got a lot of stuff uh, going on on today's program. A lot of things to get to. And again, want to knock out that goal. We're halfway through, but we're 270 away from today's goal. If you want to chip in, Streamlabs, PayPal, Super Chat, membership. Fuck, it's like every minute and a half. It's like every minute and a half. And he never, it's like an autism thing. He has to tell you every fucking vector of payment. Streamlabs, PayPal, memberships, gifted memberships, Rumble Rant, VIP, Venmo, PayPal. It's all very cute. Chips, etc. We do appreciate it. Hit like, hit subscribe. Let's do it. Carlos says that's opening themselves up to a libel or slander suit someday. Way too fucking far. Yeah, but you have to know who they are. Um, and also, it costs a lot of money to sue people. Well, Steel Toe has salad days ahead. Did you hear about Matt? Did you hear about Corey Adam coming back? I mean, the sponsors are going to be lined the fuck up. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go to Mexico for this next one. So, okay, so that's where we leave yesterday. I, I think that's uh, that's how yesterday goes. Arizona Mesa Thompson's hi, Kevin's lawyer. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin's lawyer. How's your snipe, old man? Careful, don't count my super tips. Do not count my super tips. It's not for you, old man. Let's go to the Today's Show. Is that what they call it? The Today's Show. It's a day steel toe morning program. Feeling it. Come on. Yeah. It might be steel toe. Hanging at the work side. Or at the office. Hey, steel toe. Steel toe. Steel toe. Steel toe. Do you love listening to parents? Do you love listening? Do you want to be our Lord and Savior, Satan? Nah. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. Good morning, everybody, and welcome. Do I need to? I need to move over further. I'm sorry. Ow. His asshole sore because he was boxing a guy who punched his asshole. I'm not kidding. I don't like the look of it. Ow. <laughs> I wonder why he bought one microphone arm. It's almost like he thought he he wanted this all along. It's almost like this is what he wanted the whole time. Uh, um, uh, uh, Melton, Melton, you told all these uh, PP people in my chat to give me shit. You're just a bully. You're mean. Eat it, Melton. My numbers are not down, down. They just down on. Kevin Saka, esas estúpidas bicicletas de mi casa. Kevin, sounds like your bitch. Angry about them. Bye. Welcome to the show. It's the Steel Toe. Again, second day in a row. He's just brought this sippy cup given to him by a fan as a fidget spinner. Again, just as a comfort device. He doesn't have a drink in it. He he just has an empty desk. In a sippy cup for no reason. It's just something to hold on to now that she's gone. And by the way, this sippy cup has handles. April wished she could grow. Bony ass bitch. Jesus Christ. I'm surprised she's allowed around the children without putting bubble wrap around her. Fucking pointy ass, bony ass, shard of a woman. Oh, morning show. I'm Aaron Imholt. There's my my loaf piggy sippy cup, which we know, we know, which I love so much. How's it going? You know, I've decided that this weekend is going to be the time where I'm going to uh, take my time, maybe work with April behind the scenes and uh, get this uh, background thing. All done. When you have to talk about maybe doing a project with your wife, like a high school kid talks about getting pussy, maybe go back to her place. Her parents are out of town. Maybe work with April behind the scenes on the template. Done. People have this weird idea that if April decides not to like regularly come back to the show anymore that I'm not going to once in a while bother her to make an appearance. Now, this is foreshadowing because he's already doing that. He's already bugging her. He wants her to come on today, and he throws that out there. Again, he he stares at the wall like a like a, you know, sinister villain. I might want April to come. I might want April to come back today. You know, what is that? <laughs> like, people have this idea that, like, oh, if she doesn't come back, we're never going to see her again. Can't stop scratching this arm. I can't stop scratching my arm. No, don't stop scratching my arm. Oh, take her off the payroll, give Johnny a raise. Listen to this now. So people questioning the money, you know, paying. Now why should we pay the same? April's not here. Now, I'd argue you should have been saying that for months. April hasn't done many shows a week forever. Why are you paying our salary? She's part-time at breast. But, you know, I think he's thinking about money now. And paying all these extra people, and he slept on it. <laughs> like, people have this idea that, like, oh, if she doesn't come back, we're never going to see her again. Oh, 
take her off the payroll, give Johnny a raise. <laughs> now I just turned Johnny against April. <laughs> I look. I uh, I'm very look, man. I I told April yesterday. I, I said I I miss you on that show. I I on that show. Hey. I miss you on that show. I miss you on that show. He ha it hasn't settled in for him yet. I miss you on that show. Hey, why don't you come back? I look. I uh I'm very look, man, I, I told April yesterday, I said I, I miss you on that show. I I I've really What show is it? Oh, that show. I've really refrained from telling her that. Because of all the stupid bullshit. I refrain from telling her that I miss her because of the stupid bullshit. What? What bullshit would prevent you from telling her you miss her? He always gets away with saying something really vague like that. There's no excuse for not telling your wife you miss her. Just tell her you miss her. That she has to deal with? But I told her yesterday because I, I kind of felt like it was time because my, my approach with her lately has been like, don't tell her you miss doing shows with her. Don't say this. Don't say that. Like, let her, you know, the whole thing. And by the way, Chilino, if you don't like this kind of talk, you're free to tap out for a little bit. Not a The whole year is going to be mine and April's relationship. So get used to it. Whether they stay together or not, if April's not a part of the show, everything, every day will. So April said this really funny thing the other day. This really funny thing happened with April. Not a big deal, buddy. It will not be any skin off my back. I like talking about this. Here's the weird thing about Steel Toe. If you're an OG radio fan, you know this. Aaron will talk about what Aaron wants to talk about. You can decide if you want to watch it or not. So, regular rules? I think um I think the big thing is going to be uh I, you know, I talked to her yesterday and I I finally said, "Look." And I look. I run a company, let's say. I I approached it delicately. I said, "I'm not saying this to say you, you know, come back or anything, you know, or, you know, because I think she saw a couple things in a chat the other day that she didn't Nobody like. Nobody wants you and, back. Uh, I said, I really miss doing shows with you. Like, it was a slog, it was a slog today. I said, the morning and the evening show. Although, Matt did a great job last night. We had one of the best shows ever. Don't get me wrong. We didn't hit the goal. The morning show made up for it. You should go watch it. But it was a slog. Kann dieses AI Ding auch die Sprache sprechen, in der ich normal rede? I guess I'm hoping that was fun. <laughs> but I said the morning and evening shows are becoming a bit of a of a slog. It's hard work for me, and it's a lot easier when you're there. And uh, I miss you. And the she's not there normally ever. He's acting like he's never done shows without April before. It's like April's rarely there. Audience misses you, and a the audience misses you. You know you have so much support. It's only a few haters, and we've banned them all. A package came for her yesterday from a listener, and she's like, I don't know if I want to open that. I said, well, look, we'll open it whenever you're ready. Not a big deal. Uh, and I, I was going to tell her today, you know, maybe if you'd like to make an appearance and open it on air. Chat. Mother fucking chick. Look, um, <coughs> she got a package and she said, I'm not sure I want to open that. She's afraid of packages. And 
And then his solution to that was to insist she go further. Not only should you open it, come open it on air. It's time. It's time. So he's hoping she does that this morning. Let me guess, she didn't? Let me guess, she didn't? That might not be a bad idea. We'll see. But uh, all of these things in due time, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, talk to her. Uh, She was very receptive yesterday about me saying, audience misses you. I miss you. We love doing shows together. Because. What? There's that. There's that. Hold on. What did he just say? uh, She was very receptive yesterday about me saying, audience misses you. I miss you. We love doing shows together. She was very receptive of me telling her we love doing shows together. Now, April, we love doing shows together. I drink your milkshake. Because there's that, there's that delicate balance of, you know, not... You know, I I don't I don't want to make it sound like you. What is going on with this Tetris hands? I mean, where do you learn these hand motions together? Because there's that. It's like he's trying to make a balloon animal, but he doesn't have any balloons. Maybe I can use fingers. Shall we try? Follow along, children. There's that delicate balance. Do this a little bit of shake. Balance of. Press your thumbs together, and then the meat of your palms will shake vigorously. You know, drop your fingers down in a faggy manner. Not- then grip one thumb with the other thumb while pretending you're holding four guns below the other palm. You know. And then soothingly wipe lotion on the back of any palm. Or you can use semen. Or April squirt. I, I don't... I, Spread the fingers of the gun. I don't want to make... And then go back to the original gun position. Make it sound like you don't... And then really aim the snake at another man. Come back, you... And then just get angry about it. Pretend your thumbs are making out. Fucking come back. Ooh, now you've passed level one. We'll see you for the next motion soon. Because that's not... That's not my... Pos- <laughs> I'm very high. Sorry about this. Position. Uh, but also letting her know. Now he's jer- now you jerk off two imaginary ice cream dicks. You know, hey, and then open it up and let them let them join the rest of the so- society of dicks. If you know, we love having you. You know that little that ego boost. If you- we love having you, we love having you over at the toe. We need the extra listener. To be honest. Our numbers went down by one when you left. <laughs> you will. But um, I... A- I miss April following along. I may grab my cup and tell you a lie. Hold on. Sorry about that. Absolutely. I, I was talking about this. Does he slam that cup down like it's a gavel? Sippy cup, and I got on that. I absolutely love this sippy cup. Oh, yeah, that's right, because somebody sent April something in the mail yesterday. I hope it was a bomb. <laughs> That's where I was going with this. Uh, this is really cool. Do not send April a bomb. This is one of my favorite things. And- this is one of my favorite things. This is one of my favorite things. It's one of the only things that isn't brown that I own, to be honest. And uh, I, it, it, oh, April helping me with the scene, with the, the full screen thing. I'm still going the scene going to use her for things like that i just because she makes the presentation look cleaner she sees things i don't see i don't have an eye i have very much a guy's eye april is the graphics gal around here if you know what i mean she did all of what you see now if you remember our cool wedding template i <laughs> for that kind of thing where i go that looks good you know, as my uncle said, ah, you know, if there's a little blemish, ah, I'm not going to see it from my house. You know, it, it's a very laissez-faire a- attitude about the visual of things. So we will see. Did he say uh, la- uh, laissez-faire? 
about the vision. You know, it, it's a very laissez-faire uh, attitude. Laissez-faire attitude. What's that you got there? Laissez-faire Ferrari? About the visual of things. So we will see. Uh, I would like to get that done. The the holding of the mug and the... I mean, this is just... Let's get a therapist on that. This weekend, if at all possible. New Steel Toe Graphics Monday. I am fucking hard. Okay, great show ahead. I will say I gave in to my demons today. Uh, I, I gave in to my worst angels. Oh, that's a freeze frame. Look at that. Holy shit. Holy shit. This is what, it, what it'll look like after we fight. I mean, look at that forehead. Measure that. Measure that. How do I get these perfect freeze frame? Holy shit. Wow. I mean, that should just be studied. That should really just be. I gave in to my worst angels. Okay. So yesterday I tried to do the show without uh, free of stimulants. Because April did them all. <laughs> and I, th this, I, I did end up trying to take some of that CBD stuff. Uh, today I've decided. Does he think CBD had something that keeps you awake? Does he, does he think CBD stands for caffeine a banana -noid? Uh, I don't want to have an Aaron's. There, there's already someone in the chat named Aaron's Baby Goats. Uh, I don't want to have a, a baby goats moment like I did on yesterday's show. So what I've done is I've decided to use my hands now more than ever. Hello. Hi, longtime listener, first time caller. Uh, for Kill Tony, will Ray be on the stage as an open micer as one of the professional comedians? Asking for a friend. Um, hold on, say it again. For Kill Tony, will Ray be on as one of the open micers or as one of the professional comedians? Asking for a friend. Oh, he'll be on. Uh, hi, Cardiff. He'll be on. Uh, I just had to get to talk again to make sure. I was pretty sure it's Cardiff. He'll be on stage as a no. pro. It is Cardiff. I can tell. No. I don't listen to the show. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's 100% Cardiff. Wow, the potato. Wow, the potato. Now, Ray will be on as a pro. Ray will be on as a pro. Um, we have some local pros. And, um, yeah, it depends on really how drunk he is. I'm, I'm telling you. Like, Ray could, <laughs> there's a reason Ray's podcast is 3 p.m. Let me put it that way. So everyone can buy Ray drinks and get him fucked up and have fun with Ray. But also so Ray's responsibilities are done immediately. By 4 p.m., Ray can just drink until he blacks the fuck out. Super honesty time april is actually not receptive to coming back to the show because she knows even if i tell her the audience misses her she will still get dunked on i too get pooped on i too get pooped on i don't like the sippy cup i don't know why it bugs me but an adult man should not need a sippy cup to hold on to he's cleared the desk no show prep but he's got a sippy cup and it speaks volumes Ray's got a pink blanket. He's got a sippy cup. I can't let go of hats. 
You know, what do we all love about something hugging us? I'm just going to lean in on the stimulants. And if we have some tummy troubles today, we have... How fragile is this adult man? He's allergic to weed. He can't have a stimulant without tummy troubles. Some tummy troubles. If uh, we have a fucking heart attack today. What is going on? We have a heart attack today, but we have a lot of cool stuff to talk about. and We have a lot of fun stories to do. So, What's the goal and how do we pay if we want to help? I don't want to sit here having baby goats moments, falling asleep on the air. So I ate. You're, uh, well, you know who's going to love this? Flippers. I ate what? Kale? Hash browns? If it's hash browns, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shit my pants. Hobo is going to fucking love this. I am about to give Hobo material for a year to a year and a half. By the way, uh, ended up knocking out yesterday morning right after the show ended. Got that last 30, although I would consider 30 knocking it out anyway. Hold on, what? Right after the show ended. Oh, so remember when he quit and he left that 30 on the table? Fuck everybody else. He got it right after the show ended anyway, so it's a win. He always wins. There's always a donation that comes in that knocks it out. I wish somebody would Venmo me $200. That'd be very cool. Oh, look what I just got. Always for him. Always. I rarely get a Venmo. But he gets them all the time. Pretty cool. Got that last 30, although I would consider 30 knocking it out anyway. Uh, missed last. I would, if I lost by 30, I'd consider it winning anyway. Got it, got it. More bending reality, got it. Last night by 140, but we've been over on the other shows, so I think this week's been pretty much a wash. Why well, count it if I'm sure I'm losing? Let's just say it's even. Let's knock out that 350 today. Let's try to do it painlessly. If you could just donate. If you Guys, let's knock it out. Let's try to do it painlessly. Let's don't make guys don't make this painful for me for me. Let's do it painlessly for me. A few Melton, stop picking on April. Oh god, the internet is real life. Look at her. She is in a straight jacket, and it's all your fault. Is my money not real life, Melton? Your jokes are violence, Melton. This is real to me. Stop going after my channel. Leave Steel Toe alone before I call the internet police. What I would do is literally, like, I I hope he gets something on terrestrial radio so he can, like, help his competitor or just watch him just suck. Jesus, God, will he just suck. You know, I, it's going to be bad. I can't wait. I hope, I hope his little pipe dream about returning comes true. He'll eat shit. Okay, now let's see if AIKB can speak German too. I was really giddy about drunken cringe pulling it off. Sorry for the interruption. Here we go. Ich mag es nicht, wenn, wenn Perigord sich über mich lustig macht. Und uh, meine Frau ist auch nicht begeistert davon. Oh Junge, ich hoffe, dass, es, dass ich wirklich Deutsch sprechen kann. Sonst wäre das hier ziemlich What dumm. Jedenfalls, wer anderen eine Bratwurst brät, hat selbst ein you know, Bratwurst-Bratgerät. <lacht> I caught a lot of Bratwurst in there. Uh, the, oh, I, it looked like that dumb Dodo Doofus drank 1,000 milligrams of CBD and didn't know why he felt sweepy. <lacht> My tummy troubles are caused by spicy things like mayo and macaroni. I make doo-doo in my panties, mama. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? <laughs> he is just like 
sensitive everywhere, inside out. He's just a mushy man, and he, in his mind, he's like this strong, strapping German. It's like, I mean, they would have literally Hitler would have told you to sit this one out. It would have been bad. Hello. Hey, what's going on, Pat? Hello. Black. Hey, I want to know: Did you take any look at um at um MLC today at all? No. You got to take a look at at um my man. Brennan, he's as red as I've ever seen him before in life, man. He looks like a fucking tomato. How's the lip? Is the lip clearing up? Um, I couldn't really talk about the lip, man. I was just so distracted by his head, man. You got to see, he's got a, actually the color of a fucking tomato today. It's fucking weird. He said yesterday, he said the thing on his lip was a cut and his chat room fell <laughs> out. I was like, that is not a cut. Yeah. And and now actually, um, Ray Devito has a, another thing on his lip too today. So I don't know if they were kissing each other or what, man. Whoa, big if true. Um, and also your boy Stevie's on there today with him. All right, let me see if he. Let me see how red he is. Let me see. All right, thank you, Big Black. All right, you're welcome. We gotta go see. We gotta go see how red he is now. I'm not that red. You're red. Fucking pumpkin spice complexion having bitch. Um, MLC podcast. Come on. Fuck. Fuck. The thumbnail. He looks rough. Jesus. Hi. He's high. He's so high at one o'clock. Jesus. Like I, I didn't, I didn't even know what time Holy it was. Holy so shit. Brains on now. Holy uh, shit. It wasn't me. Melton doesn't do rewind either. That's why he has no viewers. No one wants to watch something mid topic. I think it's a mistake, but as you know, I think your show is great. Please. It's one day. I knew Melton was go. Holy I knew, I already shit. knew he was uh, up. Then. Holy shit! Look at that here's, red. Here's what. Well, here's what happens. We're not manipulating What's this at all. That's everybody. how red he is. That's how when you, red when he you is. do. When you when you. Do, That's real red. That's real red. You can calibrate a, a high res TV with that. They're gonna watch you. They have to watch you that second. Look at that lip. So if he's watching me, I want him to be watching. If that's a cut, Lake Superior's a fucking puddle. A cut. What did you cut yourself with? A backhoe? Just go ahead or behind. Nail clippers? Did you just remove a chunk of your lip, you old fuck? Him to be watching exactly what I'm saying if he's sniping me. I don't want him to be skipping around. So this and another thing is like, you know, I Adam was showing me how to do And another thing that upset me to do it for me. It's like I can fucking learn. Ray DeVito's an idiot. He knows how to do it. There's many steps. YouTube's very easy compared to Patreon. But but it, it'll get up. The show from yesterday is up. The show from Monday and Tuesday is up. They're up. Yeah, because Adam put them up. Like, it, it, people have a problem with everything. No one ever thanked me when the Patreon shows were up, you know, expeditious. Whoa, he's turning on his audience, Doom. You got to get me a... I need a cool turn me, man. I really do. We got to get some dun, dun, dun some really big rewind most of the time you can but if people are sniping me it, i'd prefer why does he care if you can rewind if you're being sniped who cares i don't want to have to be responsible for my words i don't want people to back make me back up what i say oh just chipping you grow it out daddy herbs became a youtube member why is he so red today you know, he Adam worked with him on his camera, his whole look to be really, really cool. <laughs> what an ugly, 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 ugly sack of dog shit. Hit the like button. Skelly Tooth Grinch. Aaron missed the goal last night by more than $140. There was a fake $50 from Skelly Tooth John. And a fake 25 from Misfit that Aaron actually subtracted from the goal. How many other donations are fake? Look, I don't know who's being fucked with. I don't know if this is true. I don't know if this is real. 
What is real? What is reals? So, maybe it wouldn't be the first time he already lied about Brad Thacker. But look, if the, if if he's lying about more than that, then it's way worse than we even thought. We already know it's bad. But imagine how bad it could be. I've had a mobile app implanted into my backside. So if you see me out in public, just let me know so I can drop my pants and bend over, which will allow you to fist your cash or credit card donation up my ass. For the love of God, someone please save me. It's getting rough out there. Stop contacting Midland Armory, you psycho Melton. I am going on MLC soon. My time is now. I believe you. I believe you. Uh, Steve C., you and Kevin talk on the phone every night while you verbally jerk each other while simultaneously talking about the turn and the work. The turn and the work. We we refer to them collectively as the twerk. Um, but, yeah, thank you, Steve C., Don, new member, thanks. Cousin It, uh, this is better than Stevie Lou or Chad. I don't know if that's an insult or not. Uh, Fifi, F- Fifi, in- in- huh? nailed that, Spud. Uh, oh, yeah, the potato. Rick the Ruler, where's my $200 Venmo? Yeah, where's my $200 Venmo? No one is. It never comes in. I should start making them up. That'd be fun. That'd be cute pretty cute or or, or uh, you know haranguing that would be great if everyone wants to jump in click that paypal link that's in the chat and throw us a bunch of money yes everyone wants to do that you know it'd be great if everyone wanted to scan that super tip link and just send me a bunch of money that'd be great yeah it would it, it would. It'd be great if fucking trees grew lollipops and bunny rabbits were actually made of chocolate. That'd be great. And knock out that 350 right away. Or, uh, you know, or at least, you know, get her down in the low 200s. You know, make this thing manageable. Yeah. Let's get it down low enough for you to get it down. You know what I mean? Let's get it down low enough to make it where you can get it knocked out. That's the point. All right, here come the troll Venmos. You ready? This is what we're fishing for, folks. It's how you kill time on the radio. It's called being a pro. Uh, Chris, $2. Close to $200. Uh, Thomas, $5. KB's been sniping you for 30 minutes. Oh, wait, that one came in 46 minutes ago he sniped me for 30 minutes wow wow i've never been more incensed in my life this is really gonna affect my ability to get um a healthy night's sleep i'd really i'm i'm leaning in today i mean i'm i'm gonna be energy whoa double barreling celsius Look at this guy picking up two cans with one hand. Hello. Jized. I, oh, I, I didn't want to show you yet. I don't want to show you yet. That's why I picked him up and waved him around. It's called the Chad hot sauce technique. I'm going to be energized. We're going to be fucking giving her. He's bragging about wasting money on Celsius. I'm going to do a, an incredible. Today- Again, why are all these adults afraid of coffee? Dummy troubles. These aren't men. Steel toe boot wearing men drink coffee. And God knows I had two giant cups today. He he needs pomegranate punch Purell. You know what I mean? Like he, this is a soft man. This is. They sh- Why can't you drink coffee? I don't want a woman that doesn't drink coffee. <laughs> he's a man that doesn't drink coffee. And he sells coffee. 
weird. Show is going to be incredible. I'd like you to support it financially. Oh, boy. Oh, I, I, I didn't want to show you yet. I'm going to be energized. We're going to be fucking giving her. I'm going to do a an inc- Today's show is going to be incredible. He's only doing this because he fell asleep last night. But he always tells you today's show is going to be incredible. I'd like you to support it financially. I'd like you to keep this show on the air. I really would. Because the the times we're going through now have... These are unprecedented times been a lot easier than I thought they would, and I'd like to keep it that way. I thought when April quit, we'd lose a lot of support, but you guys keep on giving. (laughs) Even though we're doing less for you than ever, and I'd like to keep that gravy train rolling. Thank you very acute. It has really taken away stress. In my life. So I appreciate your guys' contributions. Your guys. And keeping this show going. Loving the show is one thing. I'm glad you're big fans. But those of you who throw good money after this program, I mean, you make my life infinitely easier. And I remember all of you. You make my dreams come true. And I appreciate it. So click that page. Grab grab the handles of that fucking mug. Like it's the the steering wheel of your wife's car as she drives away, and you could somehow turn it around and drive her right back to your heart. Grab that sippy cup, bitch. (laughs) PayPal link, throw us a bunch of money. Let's knock this out. Ready? Let's knock it out, guys. I wish I could just throw out a number and yell, let's knock it out. Just just yell your mortgage. Come on, guys. Let's knock it out. E. Uh, this is what I've been doing this morning to kind of, you know, keep myself up for the show. Hobo? I got some. What is this? This looks like another little gas station pastry. Egg McMuffin, slice of carrot cake, something garbage. Something called sweet and twisted kitchen sink, and there's only one of these left. He needs your money, and he can't stop buying junk food. Think how fat fucking Charlotte's going to be. Think how... What is it called? Sweet. You can see it rolling around in there. Sweet and twisted kitchen sink. Sweet and twisted kitchen sink. This can't be good. Whoa. Cluster fudge. Sweet and twisted bark. Oh, no. I like bread and butter. I like toast and jam. Pretzels. Milk chocolate, white chocolate fudge, and candies. Is this the one with candies? Holy shit, look at this. Look at this. This has to be on a shirt. Helping you with life's little meltdowns. I mean, emotional damage. Helping you with life's little meltdowns. This is breakup fudge. What is this? I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. Is this a tub of ice cream to eat in the bath after he leaves you? Helping you through life's little meltdowns. Holy fucking shit. I, I, I don't even know what to fucking say. I don't even, it's a candy for when times get hard. When you don't know what you want. <laughs> ah! Holy shit, you couldn't write it. You couldn't write it. Slightly salted, delightfully sweet, absurdly delicious. Remarkably gay. It's fucking sad bark. It's just fucking feelings fudge. It's just gross, gross, gross cope cookies. We just took every bit of everything you could stuff in your face and we glued it together with corn syrup. You can't even taste the difference between anything. You can't, I mean, it's called for life's little meltdown. Helping you through life's little meltdown. Total cluster fudge. Ah, uh, small handmade batches. How else would you do it? How else would you do it? It's just thirty dollars. This is great for you. Ingredient: sugar, vegetable oil. Here we go. Palm kernel oil, hydrogenated palm kernel oil, cocoa pad powder, non-fat dry milk solids, whey powder, soy, everything you think. Wow. Wow. Again, this is like, this is just, these are girl sweets. Girl sweets. Wow. I didn't know things had gotten that bad. I really didn't. Patrick Michael, member for seven months. OJ is laying dead, and you're joking around. Nice. Speaking of OJ and around, I was telling the story on the Discord. Well, I mentioned it. But I, I had the privilege of playing around a golf with OJ at Doral. And, um... He did make a joke about his glove not fitting to me, which I thought was very funny at the time. And I thought it was very cool and terrifying that I was definitely hanging out with a killer. Um, for a really nice, likable, gregarious guy. It's hard not to like. It's probably why, like, I don't know why he had to sneak up on his wife and Donald Goldman. He probably could do, could have done the thing like uh, just walking up like, hey, man, what's going on? <laughs> bang, bang, bang. And there's only one of these left. You can see it rolling around in there. This is, uh, I got this a while back. This is pretzels, graham cereal, milk chocolate fudge, white chocolate fudge, and M&Ms. Oh, this is way different than what we saw. I mean, it's kind of the same. In like a bark kind of a thing. So hold on. He woke up at 5 a.m. and just started housing chocolate. What an absolute, I mean, dangle-titted man. Uh, sword and scale, member for 16 months. It's getting pretty serious. Uh, all he'll have is the kitchen sink after uh, she leaves him. Yeah, that's true. Whatever's not bolted to the home. And this will be the third time he has to downgrade homes because of a divorce. You should see the house Ashley and him used to live in. I did. 
and I've been eating that for breakfast. So that's hobo thing number one. So he's eating candy and bark for breakfast. This is just getting... It's sad and depressing. And also, again, your children will watch this, and your children's friends are going to watch this one day. So, like, why not just maybe act normal? Number two, while I got the show ready this morning, Diet Mountain Dew, of course. To balance the chocolate. I want you to close your eyes and imagine the taste of both Mountain Dew, even worse, Diet Mountain Dew and chocolate pretzels, peanut butter, graham crackers. Imagine all that just coating your teeth and swirling around your weird wet mouth and then celsius and again my dog does this my dog shows a guest all of her toys why, why do all these simpletons like chad and him do this my when, when a guest comes over uh to hang you know to visit we're having someone over or someone just pops by my dog goes to her toy basket pulls out every toy she has Brings it over to show off all her toys. She's showing, hey, look at all my cool stuff I got. You're welcome to it. You can play if you're into that. I love to play. That's what he's doing. I got, look what I got. Look what I got. I got Celsius. I got a, a, a other different Celsius. I got, I got chocolate. Uh, I got, I got, I got Mountain Dew. I got, I got. I've got myself a tropical vibe Celsius. I had to stay brand loyal. Oof. And a Fiji apple pear Celsius. So Fiji apple pear. Fiji apple pear. <clears throat> We're going to load up on caffeine today. We're going to load up on sugar. We're going to do the whole thing. Healthy. So sharp, I need to box in the best shape of my life. And we're going to have an incredible show. And if my health suffers later today as a result, I am willing to take the uh, the beating. I'm willing to take the uh, physical beating of overstimulating myself uh, to give you guys a great show. Because Who are you kidding? If you start to crash, you'll run to the gas station and get more shit. The minute you start crashing, you'll just go get more garbage. You deserve it. You're going to throw a bunch of money at this program today. We're going to knock out all. Listen to him telling you what you're going to do. I mean, this is getting. What is the show? Take the uh, physical beating of overstimulating myself uh, to give you guys a great show because you deserve it. You're going to throw a bunch of money at this program today. We're going to knock out all these goals and we're going to have a great. You deserve. Me getting treats. I'm going to take a lot of chocolate and and dr goody goody drinks today because you deserve it. We're going to knock out this goal. Great week. Uh, we're also doing an evening show tonight. I will probably, uh, I know I'm going to go hang out with uh, Nick and his family today. Ooh. So I think I might just uh, hang out there for a while. Uh, seeing as we're heading into Rumble Friday. and So now he wants to get out of the house. Away from Scrap. My Thursday nights are usually a little a little later. They're later evenings. Uh, I think I might go hang out there today. I Let me check the chat to see if that's a good idea. Let me just do a little quick chat check to make sure that's going over well with people. Make sure nobody mentions swinging. They'll get banned. And go do some stuff. I know uh, I know. I want to help them with a tree. It's a weird thing to say. There's chat check. There's a tree that they need, you know, pulled back and straightened out that they have. And I want to do some tree straightening. I love doing shit. I <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Love doing like backyard projects. They have to call somebody from an hour away who's not good at anything outdoorsy to help. Okay. 
Okay, I believe you. Clifford says, for treats, FKB. Oh, yeah, all your money goes to treats. And that would be a fun one. Plus, it's not very often that I'm more of a backyard project guy than somebody else, so that's kind of nice. I'm the one who takes Ricada's hips. I can be like, hey, guy, I, you know, I, I'm not usually the foreman on backyard projects. I'm, <laughs> I'm usually just holding his limp wrist. It already hurts just thinking about working on that tree. Just one of the helpers. And now I get to be kind of the foreman on a backyard project. This turned in from like, hey, can we use your truck to like pull my tree straight? To I get to be the foreman of a backyard project. Again, I assume he just has a tow hitch and he's going to tie a chain and a strap around a tree and help straighten a tree out. No, I got to be the foreman of a backyard project. He's like when Gre when Ray built a grill. That, which means it's going to end up way shittier than it probably would. And there's a good chance that April ends up actually being the foreman on this project. Because I've straightened trees out at the lake, out at my family's uh, cabin. But lake trees are way different than these ground trees. These land trees. <sighs> That's what he says when he gets there and he realizes he has no idea what he's doing. And he's way out of his depth. Oh, shit. Is this a, what is that, an oak? Fuck. I thought these were going to be mangroves. Shit. I, no, I never straightened a land tree. I can only do shit. If this were like kelp. Nah, nah, I don't even know. Uh, April, I'm going to let April do this one. Cause she, you know, she could use the encouragement and the pick me up. But April grew up on a farm. She probably straightened trees before she milked the cows every mm -hmm. Before she milked mama. Morning. So I'm not really sure, but uh, might do the evening show. She probably straightened trees before she milked cows in the morning. Then how shitty was she at it? Every day she had to go out and re-straighten the trees? <laughs> mama, the trees are sideways again. Will you get out there and straighten them before you milk the cows? Mama. Well, if you straighten them right, they, you didn't have to do it every morning. But damn's the rose. From there tonight. So he just said, I might do the show from there tonight. Listen to that. Might do the evening show from there tonight. Now, a week and a half ago, he said, no more shows from the Ricadas. Remember when they got snowed in there for four days of hot scissoring? No more shows from the Ricadas. The audience doesn't give. No more shows from the Ricadas. Now he's like, I might do the show from the Ricadas tonight. I know when I'm having marital problems, what I want to do is immediately run over and hang out with another couple. That would be yeah, very cool. Very cool. Um, hold on. We are unable to do super chats or super stickers right now. All of it has been taken away for the most part. I think you have been demonetized. Um, and when you come into the chat room, it says some of those broadcasts may be inappropriate for young viewers. Whoa. <laughs> Is that true? Can I not get super chatted? Because we had one uh, 12 minutes ago. Oh, that is a while. Maybe our channel's fried. This is why I tell everybody to head over to supertips.gg slash NLO. Not cool at all. Very cute. Is it cute? Guys, is it cute? Is it cute? Oh, no, we've been demodernized. Anyway, okay, well, you can give through the, uh, this was my only option, says Detois. All right. Well, I'll check it out, what's going on afterwards. I can't really do anything about it during a show, can I? And again, there's a very easy workaround for that, okay?
age-restricted video. All right, well, there you go. No big deal at all. It's age-restricted for some reason. Is it restricted to people 64 and older? Hi, Kevin. Uh, Citizen M flagged you. <laughs> Look, guys, I can't do anything about it. It doesn't matter. Um, there's always super chats. Thank you to everybody who's giving and renewing their member champs. Detroit, John Esposito, uh, Ricada B. Phelan, Shaggis Monkey, Buck Naked. Thank you all very much. And G Rob doing a super tip sticker, which we're going to have soon, believe it or not. Right, Moody? We have stickers coming and things you couldn't even imagine. You couldn't even imagine. Uh, KB reported the monkey references. Oh, no. What am I going to do? He talking about my wife. He talking about my wife. Oh, I've never been more defeated. Maybe it's a Nick and Aaron show. I don't know. Maybe we end up doing it. Might not be a. T I you know he said he would never do a show over there again because audience don't give. Audience don't give when I do show over there. I know he's probably got a show late at night, so I don't know if I want to you know use up all of his uh, his mojo, if you will. But I also know I make it incredibly easy on a fella. I love when he does that little sly look. Uh, ain't I a stinker? Ain't I a stinker? To do a program. Ask Corey Adam. Oh, wait. Ask Oz. Oh, wait. Ask Mark Adam. Again, I don't, you know, there's nothing I can do, so I don't care. I don't need updates about it. I mean, it just. Uh, ha -ha, Melton was demonetized. Looks like he ain't making money. We've had plenty of gifted memberships today, Kev. Hey, buddy, those are fake. Um, and again, like I said, like, yeah, anybody can, like, go fuck somebody's shit up and have an effect. Um, but, you know. Hold on, Citizen M says, yes, it's true. Wow, he Citizen M flagged me. I'm fucked. Dude, have you seen Nick Ricada lately? He looks like a fallout ghoul. No, I have not. What is, what is Ricada's show, and when does he do it? That'd be my question. Oh. Ask April. Oh. All, fact I know, is, all I know is it's not serious. We're here. You're watching me. Nothing's wrong. Every uh, show got demonetized, okay? We've done over four hours anyway. We're almost done. <laughs> See ya. See ya. I've never been more owned. I've never been more owned. It's just... Who better to work with is what I say. All right. Uh, Mussolini Diff says, I support April being and not being on the show. See, that's now that's a good fence walker. Atta boy. Chilino renewing his membership for his fourth month. Says, you are overweight. Thank you, buddy. And throws this 99 cents on top of it. It is wild to just wake up and start eating chocolate bark. It's like those Reese's cups that have Reese's pieces inside of them. It's like, are you not getting enough peanut butter and chocolate? This peanut butter and chocolate would be good if it just had like peanut butter and chocolate crammed inside of it. It's like, I wish this chocolate had M&Ms and pretzels and graham crackers and white chocolate chunks. What a good man. Uh, Gray Idol says, I think uh, you would think black would be slimming, but not on Aaron. My weight's good, too. Because you can make an argument. <laughs> Look, you can make an argument for, like, um, stuffed crust. Yeah, it's just more cheese, but at least it's in a different place and makes crust taste better. 
But are you putting more peanut butter and chocolate inside peanut butter and chocolate? Are you taking chocolate M&Ms and burying them inside of chocolate? Uh, crack and slap and said, hold on. AWOL just gifted five memberships. So, so it's not broken now. AWOL just gifted five memberships. <laughs> so false alarm. Everything's fine. We're good. Delco Lou. Thank you. That rhymes. Says, oh yes. Dryer update. I was not able to listen last night. Uh, I so did 129 memberships this show. Thank you have to turn the whole dryer around i went in through the front to the back and i did some uh, manipulating on the drum and i think i'll get i did some manipulating on the drum sounds gay AF. get rid of the black mark thing for now but i still the rollers are still knocking around and i'll have to re get a new dryer Go to a local used appliance place and get a, a new dryer that's got like a 60-day warranty on it. Take care of your family. Your fucking wife is falling apart and you're taking dryers apart? Are you on meth? What the fuck is going on? He's one of these guys who like pretends like he's addressing his problems in his family, but now he's burying his head in needless projects. My wife's having a nervous breakdown. Her mental health is on the edge. Everything's going poorly. I better take apart the dryer. I better work on the template. I better readjust my camera. I'll do everything I've neglected for years. This weekend. Anything to, to, to avoid a conversation with my wife. Can we just have a night, us tonight? I've got to go straighten a tree for a friend who lives an hour away. Bring your bathing suit. <laughs> so fucking weird, man. Install those. That's just a little bit longer project than I had time for yesterday. I had, uh, I, I swept, I swiffered, I dishes, I clothed. I She's gone. Hold on. Not only is she not doing... Her steel toe duties and earning a salary, she's not cleaning the house. He's swiffering. He's dusting. He's cleaning. He's wiping. He's dishesing. What in the absolute shit? <laughs> I laundried. I picked up the backyard because the kids don't. <laughs> I, I don't even know. What to I, say. You don't want to be that. I don't young even know what to say. In the summertime, and so I. I went out in the back. It was such a nice day to be outside yesterday. So I got all that stuff done. Oof. He fixed the dryer. He got all that done. He's doing shows alone. I thought you were taking the day off to spend time with April. But no, you're running to the Ricadas straightening trees, whatever that means. Uh, Los Federales says, someone please send Aaron a bib to go with the sippy cup. Uh, he would wear it. He'd probably be like, this is my second favorite thing. This is actually very cute. Melton, welcome to the demonetization Thanks, club. Thanks, buddy. You and I are going to dominate the steak and pussy pipeline in Vegas. Two fat bros walking down the street, slapping our bellies. Now I just got to get you a tight pair of glasses from the local CVS. Yeah, and scratch them up good, will you? AWOL again, thank you very much for the five memberships. Clifford gifting a membership. George, the solidarity is palpable. Drive by five gifted memberships. Thank you so much. And Bob Sacramento from the Seinfeld. Uh, gifted five Nobody Likes Onions memberships. Thank you guys all so much. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Anyway, thank you. Thank you guys so much for, uh, again, I don't know if Kevin did something or not. Who cares? I can't control what other people do. Other people are bitter and unhappy. Let them fry. We're having a good time over here. And luckily, I built my own ship. Come on over to the super tip. Patty's daddy says, go on MLC to trash Melton. KB hates Vatso. You're welcome over there. Why would I trash Melton? Why would I trash Melton? 
I'm not even familiar with that name. Who? Melton, is it? Rod Pockets. I've given the guy a career. Wow. I've given the guy a channel. Oh. It's hilarious watching him chase me. What are you ahead at? And just get ever frustrated. Did you know he's now uh, contacted two of our sponsors? Do tell. And like he's trying, this is how gay this guy is. And by the way, he lies all the time. Just like he claims he never uh, said that he hired a private investigator to in- investigate Cheetos and the Chad oil can thing. He 100% said that in No one hired anybody to investigate Cheetos. No one ever thought it was anyone but Chad. And I guess it's been a year, so people are already, like, gaslighting themselves. I said several times on many shows, I didn't hire an investigator. One of Chad's friends hired an investigator. A good friend. A good friend. It'd be like telling you that Florentine hired an investigator. But didn't want Chad to know, so contacted me to do it. Wink, motherfucking wink. I'm not kidding. And I made it very clear I didn't. I didn't. I would never. I I don't give a fuck. We all know Chad did it. We all know Chad did it. But now I chased Cheetos down with a private investigator. I did. We all remember when he accused Cheeto. I did. Pull the clip. Pull the clip when I said Cheetos did it. I said it looks like Cheetos was in Florida. I just, we just found this out. Look at this. He was in Florida. You got hit. And now he's home. Posting early in the morning. Not business hours. From the business. Is it to establish some sort of alibi? We looked at it like we would look at any suspect for any case. Also, I'm also watching what Chad's react, what he's saying when I feed this to him. Because, again, we all know it was Chad the whole time. But the way everybody wants to remember it is Melton accused Cheetos and Melton hired a P.I. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. Lied and then lied about lying about it. So he's been, he's contacted All Care and he's contacted Midland. And like obsessively. I got a call from uh, one of these places. All Care and Midland. I've contacted them obsessively. I was on the air for over four hours yesterday, but during that whole time I was emailing excessively nonstop. And they said, yeah, we got, this guy's a retard. Like they, and they, like they knew it right away because they're fans of the show. They're like, I got a call from the sponsors, and they talk exactly like me. And they're like, is this guy just like a fat failure who is bullied? (laughs) Dude, this guy has like no life. He's literally been sending me emails from two different email addresses. That one. What? Just a quick question. Why am I switching emails all the time? What would the point of that be? And again, why aren't you reading these? Please. Please. Why aren't these being read on the show? To show how s- retarded I am. One of them says Patrick and the other says NLO. And the, and uh, one of the... Those are my email addresses. That is my email address. The advertisers goes, he started emailing at like 7.45 this morning and he hasn't stopped. He didn't stop until like 9 at night. And it was all just like, I hate Steel Toe, and you guys are making a big mistake, and you're in, uh, he's the devil. And did you like, I don't think Patrick understands. Like, he wants to be this big, like, boogeyman figure. I spent 15 minutes longer on the phone than I wanted to because I was doing shit. But I stopped what I was doing so I could listen to one of our advertisers laugh and make fun of Patrick. And we both had a great laugh at his expense. I know I know he wants to have this character. I know he wants to have this persona, but it's not genuine. It's not who he really is. 
So therefore, it comes off as retarded. And he comes off as a big, fat, dumb guy because he's acting like a big, fat, dumb guy and he's not acting. So we had a great laugh at his expense. My favorite battles of Aaron's are the ones that the other party isn't invited to. By the way, yesterday afternoon, I had a great time. Me and a buddy of mine. Oh, my God. We tore Patrick Melton a new asshole. So that was great. We had a big laugh at his expense. He looked so stupid. He looked so dumb. We we spent 15 minutes going, can you believe he wrote these emails? I mean, these are fucking dumb. Clue number one. They're all, he, he just keeps going, I can't take it. I can't. Why do you sponsor? You're making a big mistake. Stop sponsoring them. Don't do it. You've got no. You got ah. <laughs> what in the fuck? You should stop. Don't sponsor them. They're the devil. I mean, what in the fuck? Can we see these emails? And I know he hates hearing that, and I know that he's got to now explain to his audience, oh, I'm still told just coping. And even now, he because he made this up, he thinks like, and it's gonna, it's it's a funny bit because now he has to go explain to his audience he didn't do it. I really don't. I really don't. Uh, my audience doesn't have to be told what to think. <laughs> Again, why was I alternating emails and and my whole thing was you're the devil, you gotta stop. As if I believe any of them are giving you any money. All care towing is paying you money. Is it? Are we? Keep sending emails, stupid. I'm sure eventually one of my, I'm sure one of my troops is going to go, oh, yeah, that Pat, oh, yeah, he knows what he's talking about. Yeah, I, I'm really trying to hurt Stonies and all care towing. I mean, what in the fuck? He's, he's, I would never reach out to them the same way I would never reach out to the hot sauce idiot because it's like, you're not on earth. You think making Chad hot sauce is like a good business move? We're not. We have nothing to talk about. We're on totally different planes of existence when it comes to what we think is a good idea or not regarding hot sauce. And what's a good marketing move? So, like, do, do I, would I ever think it was a rational move to contact all care towing? To try to convince them to drop you? I understand that these people are like probably family members or in-laws. I mean, and if they're not, they're retarded or brain damage from the war. You know, like, I don't know who's playing who. Like. Cheetos is brilliant if all he does is give you gift cards that never get redeemed that you send out across the country to people who never step foot in Minnesota. Or if he's giving you cash and you're using him as if advertising his local backwoods shithouse bar on your failing low number minimal reach podcast is doing anything for his establishment. I mean, it's just I don't know who's dumber. So imagine me talking sense to either one. Aaron, it's like when you were begging me to come on your show. I was like, why would I do that? You seem thick. You seem dumb. That's why I won't, like, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Chad. It's like, I, I don't have enough time on this earth to convince Chad of something. Try to rewire how his brain works. Free cable. Hello? He's totally right. So, no, I don't need to go on MLC and trash Melton. 
I would go on MLC and just hang out with Kevin. I like totally. Kevin. Totally. I mean, he's an old prick, but like, I like what you know. I Kevin, don't you put him on? Don't you get? Don't you stick it to me? That would be fucked up. Honestly, my favorite position is doggy. I love that sw- uh, sweaty crack waft hitting my nostrils. Tata's like torpedoes slapping her face. I like it, National Geographic. Tata's. I like the control in this moment. Master Brandon, say it louder. Tata's, say it louder. Thank you for the gifted membership, Keel. And thank you, uh, uh, April Aru, for the gifted memberships. And thank you so much for watching uh, the Nobody Likes Onions program, okay? Tomorrow, um,. It's probably going to be a shorter show. And the time may be. I'm right. I got a lot of uh, appointments at the bank. If you know what daddy means. Your manner is most unbecoming of a gentleman. Would you be high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy hasn't hit them yet. They're full blown retarded or just high on cigarettes. The question posed to stupid hoes who don't get it yet Excuse me, miss, are you high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy hasn't hit them yet They're full-blown retarded or just high on cigarettes All the laughter that you did for If you listen to the show, boy, Patrick Melton Melton faces have you stacking And no point is the low point, not the reason The reason is fucking gold It'll make the taco pony party be a party of soul to make you vandalize a van with a pedal sticker So bold the family probably get arrested Before they get down the road A stupid motherfuckers just got N alone of the radio shows a straight bitch male prone talk shit on the onions that nobody like pass have my homeboy lame prank call him fast have him thinking that he hates him like right before he berates him in the way that he baits him put him right on blast like patrick is an asshole and his show won't last and every time I-